Okay. We sit down. Get into your room. Door opens. It's a beautiful, small room, but well decorated. A nice, uh, uh, probably queen size canopy bed. It looks to be a, a dresser with a mirror, um, a chair, uh, a little uh, uh, cabinet. Fridge. Fridge. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bar. Uh, right. Mm. Mm. Um, traveler, are you here? Well, um, I don't know where I'm staying tonight, Traveler. I might be here or I might be with my friends, but, um, okay. I'll see you soon, okay. And I run back out to the room. Yeah. You, you turn in, in, the, uh, in the hallway to where you entered, you see a familiar uh, cloak of deep green, hooded. <gasps> Hi. The cloak kind of nods down towards you and the voice slowly kind of cascades out from underneath. I'm so sorry she's not aware that you're here now, but you're with friends. Um, okay. Um, do, 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 do you think you could help me, though? Child, I think I help you quite a bit already. I know. You do. <laughs> what I, do you need? I don't know how to let her know. I don't know how, what to do. Leans forward and the hand reaches out and kind of takes your chin a little bit and kind of just holds it there. Um, there in the kind of the dark space in the hood, you can just see the familiar Verdant Iris is looking back, and kind of the warmth kind of fills you once more, the, the comfort that kept you comfortable so many years alone in that room. I think the more deeds you do, the more lives you change, the more confident brats you bring. She'll find you. Okay. Pull out the pamphlet. Look what I made for you. The hand kind of pulls back and takes the pamphlet. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> People you... are going to worship you like crazy. <laughs> you know what to do then. Yes. Okay. I missed you. I'm never far. All right, I'm going to walk. If you want to follow me, I'm just going to go over here. <laughs> as, as you look down at the pamphlet and look up to say that, he's gone. And you just hear this faint little. <laughs> I skip away. <laughs> as you place it on top, the, the voice on the opposite end goes, Oh, do you need help there? Oh, Kitty. no, just, just leave it a little message from my son here. He, he's, a, he's a big worshiper. <laughs> and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> right. as, you, as you get up and start walking away, the herald stands up and begins walking towards the other side of the anvil. So you I get, walk really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like speedily running <laughs> Granny into the crowd, and as you get drop disguise, as, as soon you drop as disguise, here. as soon as you in the middle of the crowd. No, oh, no, it's around the corner. <laughs> All right, well, it's still in your disguise as you're charging into the crowd behind you. Your voice go. She put the old woman to fire! Just like screaming, and you you hear this ruckus as people around start looking behind at the shouting sound as you dart around the corner um, and drop disguise. And as you do, you can now see. The um, the herald and the two keepers of the temple are now like pushing through the crowd, looking sort of like, anyone seen an old woman? And he's like describing you as best they can, and it looks like there's a bit of commotion going on. <laughs> as you begin to kind of disperse into the crowd, making your way, you hear a you hear a crunch sound in your hand, kind of shakes for a second. You look down, and a mysterious secondary bite was taken out of the apple. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like this spot. Oh. <laughs> You're making out with your god? <laughs> they have a special relationship. 
As as your evening comes to a close and you go back to the the leaky tap to go for a rest, and you have a moment to yourself to kind of think and have have a moment to breathe and uh, kind of gain a little bit of calm. You sense a presence. And sitting on the bed next to you, you see the familiar dark green cloak. Hi. Did, did you see what I did? I did. Do you like me again? I was never disappointed in the first place, Jester. The hood still obscuring most of the face, just the lower jaw and mouth visible. Why didn't you come? I did. I didn't see you. You don't need to see me to know that I'm with you. And you're free now. Promise you won't leave. As long as you continue to be that wonderful little seed of joy and chaos in the world. I'll be walking behind you the entire time. If things had gotten really bad, though, you would have stepped in, right? You wouldn't have let something really bad happen. Not within my power, no. Okay. I do appreciate your artwork. <laughs> I think he looks better now. You're improving. <laughs> meeting new people, tell them of what we have accomplished. We want more friends, don't we? So many. Do you think I could have a look at that strange relic? You, which one? We've kind of found a lot of relics. The one that you procured from that Jorhassian warrior. Oh, the box? Yeah, of course. I did again to the haversack and I show it to him. He just takes it and looks to it for a moment. What do you think it is? You see kind of the side of the mouth of the traveler curl into an amused smirk. Curious. Hm. Curious indeed. They said something about having babies or something with it, I can't remember. Hmm. I don't think I've ever come across magic like that. What, what kind of magic is it? I don't know, I have not come across it before. I'm interested, definitely. Be careful with that. Things that are unknown are notably able to draw dangerous and inquiring eyes and minds. So I should keep it hidden? I think you should. I'll keep it in this pink bag. It's very discreet. There are more like you out there. I saw a couple of medallions for you. I'm worth worshiping after all. Obviously. But you are my favorite. I was going to ask if I was. <laughs> I hope that maybe you could all meet someday. I would love that. I, of course, will be the leader of your, um, your worship, obviously. 
perhaps sometime next year, for the day of the zenith, in Undalar. Yes, I think that. I'm writing it in my sketchbook. <laughs> Will you tell them, and then I'll meet them there? They all speak to me. Okay. Wow. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Traveler. The hand kind of reaches out and touches yours, and there's... Uh, you can feel the contact, but it's strangely cold. Kind of blink and the traveler is gone. <sighs> I just draw so many things in my sketchbook. <laughs> All of it. You are in your room, sketching in your book, kind of testing out some of your new paints. You feel a hand on your shoulder. You glance over and you can see the pale, soft fingers uh, and a dark greenish sleeve kind of resting there. You glance over to the side and you can see the draping hood and the slight curved smile across the uh, angular chin of the traveler protruding from beneath the cloak. Hello. I see you found a new toy. I have magical paint. Well, I am quite excited at the things you're capable of, Jester. Thank you. <laughs> How are things? Um, they're pretty good. Um, did you want me to make you something with the paint? Surprise me. Okay. Um, Traveler? Yes, my dear? Are you having fun on our trip? Yes. I've been pleasantly surprised. We're pirates. I know. <laughs> Your tenacity is impressive. <laughs> but we stole things, but they gave something back, just like you always teach, you know? Maintain that balance. Yes. That seed of chaos. Traveler, how do I make a boy like me? Well, there are many different enchantments that could achieve the goals you see. I don't know if I want to do it with an enchantment. Trickery? Maybe? Listen. Listen to what piques his interest. And then happen to be the source when he needs it. And if that fails, there are plenty of enchantments that can sway his I mind. I mean, right? You'll help me out with that. I'll do my best. You're not jealous, are you? No. You'll always be my number one love. I know. <laughs> so what are you making me? Oh, it want, I wanted to be a surprise for you. I can't tell you. I'll wait. Okay. I'm glad you're here. I'm never far. It's a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> what do you make from? Oh gosh! Oh my goodness! Okay, with my magical paint. I was planning on fucking up some other things. But right now, I will make a little shrine. 
like a little statue of the traveler. And um, that way I can pray to him. As you finish painting it, it kind of suddenly gives, it takes gravity. It almost seems to fall a centimeter and <laughs> center itself. It goes from this like two-dimensional shift, like you have to almost, it's almost it's like blinking. Shimmery, I want him like shimmery green. Sitting up from the edge of the bed, the cloaked figure walks over and lifts it and inspects it and places it back down. What do you think? You're getting better. I could leave these around other places? What do you think? Preferably where it will be the least expected. Okay. And the creepiest to find. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. <laughs> I've got to get to work. Yes? I can make so many of these. Make me proud, Jester. The time's coming soon. We will meet the rest of you, brethren. Right. I wrote it down. It's Everybody soon, does right? Does that mean? The rest of your brethren. Yeah, in like less than a year. What? What? Soon, Maddie. Like <laughs> As you look up from your notes, from like closing your book, you turn to look, and the traveler's gone. <laughs> You take uh, ten points of slashing damage. Okay, uh, I, I've gone since my last Correct. run, so I'll I'll dodge. Yeah, no. Okay. It's Jester. That is a natural four plus nine. That is a mm-hmm. thirteen to hit. Oh my god! <laughs> you deflect it. Oh my god! Oh my god! It doesn't care much for not necessarily. You've been a threat. It's going to go after you, Jester. Yeah. Oh god! I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Natural two. Oh, oh my god! I'm not even joking. <laughs> Oh, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Oh, so oh, Jesus. It's still, we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, as it strikes both towards you, you like it, like there's that moment of, of quiet where your eyes close and you're waiting for the imminent moment and you hear this voice creep in your head and go, Don't worry, I'm watching. And your arm, without even noticing, you feel like a hand push your wrist and the shield goes up and deflects the impact. The, the teeth streak across it and cling to it and begin to try and pull the shield away and you just instinctually muscle it away. As you do, you watch two teeth shatter and fall to the ground in front. Just a, that, that moment of strength billowing up from inside a pretty strong cleric. Uh, how would I like to do this? It's an explosive arrow. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh no. So. Oh no. As you, Wait, you as you see it rush past the friend, you t- fire. And the bolt you still have a strikes level? towards it and third level. detonates. Oh, no. You watch as portions of the incubus are scattered across the ceiling, the walls, the floors. I celebrate. Dripping down. You see it like, yeah! And all you see is like the body of Caduceus, which is thrown about five or six feet from the explosion, land on the ground, charred and dead. Mm-hmm. No! I run forward. Okay. And I cast Revivify. You still have a, a, I have a third level, level left because oh I have my third God. level fucking you power. Fuck okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, so combat's over. You go ahead and you, you pull out the diamond that you thankfully Got back. Back. Thankfully, that, that ogre didn't win that fight, oh my <laughs> or anybody God. else. Thanks, is this a is this a thing she has to roll for? No, it's so fast. It's no. within no, yeah. it's within one minute. One so, minute. as you see, <laughs> Caduceus burned, eyes partially <laughs> open, the breath, the final breath escaped the body, kind of onto the stone. You rush forward, pull out the diamond. Traveler, tell the wild mother that uh, that Caduceus needs help. And I place the diamond on his chest and I cast Revivify. Okay. As you cast the spell, the diamond shatters in place into thousands of tiny, sparkling, glittering beads of light. They all kind of stop in place and float above him. As your hand's out in front, you see a second hand appear, spectral, green. And you see a cloaked arm around it as the Traveler's hand is with you. And he pushes your hand forward into this series of sparkles, and it's warm to the touch, and you watch as they all gather around your hand. And for just an instant, for just an instant, you feel 
this this, this presence, and you swear amongst the, the shadows for a split second, you can see what looks to be this heavy, tumbling hair and a matronly smile in the shadow above, but you blink and it's gone. And as you look down, the energy that's around your hand drifts into Caduceus's chest. You see all the sparkling bits of light kind of all going out, hundreds at a time, before all of them have transitioned into his body. There's a pause. And the voice in your ear, the familiar voice says, I'm proud of you. <gasps> hey. Am I even that one hit point? Or am I You're one hit point. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's nice. Guys, is it over? <laughs> oh, that doesn't feel good. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I had the weirdest dream. Oh. Oh, that's stiff. You'll never believe what I saw. What did you see? I saw your wild mother. She was looking over at you and smiling. Oh, that's, that's, I'm gonna sleep, that's good. I think I'm we sleeping. should probably sleep. Yeah. He needs some yeah, rest, so. though. Oh. I think we all need some rest, and I sit up. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is awake. Well, we'll say Jester takes first watch as she's having her commute. Um, I'll start by, you know, drawing in my journal. And... I'll draw just just Yasha's eyes. I'll try to get them how they used to be and then how they looked in the scry, the difference. And I'll just say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you as much. I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I feel kind of lost. Are you there? Look in a warm, humid interior from your friends sleeping nearby. Drifts to a colder sensation. And you, out of the periphery of your eyes, see the cloak kind of whip. And as you're sitting there, you sense the presence of the traveler sit there next to you, the hood kind of leaning into the other side of your periphery. It's all right, you've been busy. As of a. You have. But a measly couple months from now, we'll get to meet the rest of your family. Yeah, a couple months, huh? Do you do you do you have a location yet? That's actually why I wanted to talk to you. And he kind of draws back into a sitting position. I'm considering where to hold the grand gathering. I was thinking maybe the island of Rumblecusp off the Menagerie Coast. Do you have any suggestions? Rumble Rumble Cusp? Have I heard of that place before? You've heard it, but you've never been there. What's special about Rumble Cusp? I don't know. It's remote. Probably very pretty. And I've never been. Well, if it's pretty and tropical, you know, that would be nice. I mean, anywhere close to Nicodronus, you know, is going to be very pretty. Have you any other suggestions yourself? Oh, well, um, probably not anywhere in the Empire, or probably not anywhere in Jorhas. There's crazy stuff going on here, you know? So I've been hearing. Um, I mean, if you, well, I guess if it's a couple months away, I was going to say I hear that the north is pretty cool right now. There's like a volcano or something that is supposed to be pretty popular, but. Are you really pushing for a volcano suggestion? <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of crazy, right? To have a bunch of people gathered in the volcano. Make a persuasion check. Oh my God. <laughs> 
This is going to end so well. Natural 20. <laughs> it's certainly unique. The journey would be challenging, but Which with enough warning. Who your, who your real followers were. But you know, if you want to hold it somewhere that's way prettier, I understand, you know, that's that's a really good option too. I trust your judgment, Chester. <laughs> a volcano will be interesting. I can check it out beforehand if, if you want, and then let you know. Certainly, but I have to know soon. Right. I have to send out the invitations. Right. Were you there in the cave? I'm never far. It's really hard. I know. There's so many things in the world, and I thought it would be really cool to see it all, and some of it is really pretty. You know, like we saw a cavern that was full of crystals. You would actually really like that. Maybe we should have the, the convention there, I'm not sure. <laughs> you tell me. But a lot of it is just really sad, and a lot of people getting hurt, and... <sighs> he reaches forward from the billowing robe, his fingers kind of just brush the bit of hair out of your face. It is a very beautiful world, and it's a very sad world, but there is beauty and sadness, too. Yeah. Without those moments, it's hard to appreciate the beauty. I didn't know how wonderful, you know, home was, and how wonderful, really, my mama is until I, I saw a lot of other people out there. You'll be sad again. To live is to be sad, time and time again. But you also get to be happy. You get to be playful. You get to be mischievous. <laughs> yeah. Just know, no matter where you are, I'm not far. And also know, you're not the only one being watched over in your merry bed. There are many voices, yeah. many eyes upon you. Do you ever talk to the other gods? <laughs> there isn't much of a uh, line of communication, if that's what you're asking. Oh, I didn't know. But wherever your friend Yasha is, I'm sure there's some very powerful eyes on her that never left. Really? Good ones? Helpful ones? Well, I've seen the storm myself. Have faith. After all, without faith, what am I? Yeah. Really cool. Volcano. <laughs> Interesting. I like it. <laughs> it just kind of dissipates into the wind. <laughs> just killed the whole traveler con. <laughs> As you're going to sleep, <laughs> you kind of curl up in bed. And you feel something kind of like shift at the foot of the bed. 
You look over and you see sitting at the edge of the bed, the familiar green cloak. I sit up. Turns back towards you. <laughs> so what do you think? Kravarov or Rumblecusp? Um, well. I know you said your preference may have been with the new volcano, but you seemed less intrigued last time we spoke. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was going to be cooler than it was. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's really cool. But it kind of felt like like the Wild Mother's territory, if that makes any sense. And like, why would we want to like go somewhere that's already been like, stamped upon by somebody else. Why can't we go and like claim something as our own, you know? Plus, it's, you know, it's kind of barren there, and we haven't been to anywhere tropical in a while. So tropical? Is the other place tropical? I'm assuming. It's fairly tropical as an island. Let's do that. What, what, what is it like? What should we do? What are we going to do there? Well, we'll figure this out as we Get closer to the dates. What kind of things should we prepare? I mean, I already told everyone that I would make them, you know, travel their cloaks so that they could all look really fancy when they're <laughs> worshiping you and stuff. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. Do you want me to make, like, lots of, like, idols to you? Or do I need to, like, get word out to the rest of your followers? Do they already know? They've all been notified. Okay. But any trinkets you wish to bring along, of course. I'll make sure there's some good stuff. Your friends are coming, yes? That's the plan, is that okay? Yeah. They're not in any danger, right? No. Okay. I don't know why I was asking that. I just guess, like, you know, you think volcano, you think somebody's going to be sacrificed or something, and that seems weird. <laughs> That's definitely not my uh, right. realm of preference or expertise. I'm looking forward to this. Me too. I miss hanging out with you. I'm never that far. Well, I know, but... I know. It's weird that nobody else can see you. Faith's a funny thing. Yeah. But if you ever get lonely, just call. Call my name. Know that if I'm not there, I'm thinking of you. All right. You don't know anything about this weird beacon thing we're going to look for, do you? It's got everybody up in arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly intriguing, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm as curious as you are. Maybe not so much to be up in arms, but I'm certainly curious. Does some cool things. Dunamancy's crazy. Did you see that guy get squished? I mean, I guess she was a girl, but. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'll continue with my preparation. <laughs> okay. It's getting close. I know. We're so close. I'm like, so excited. Me too. Very much so. I'm excited for you to meet the rest of your brethren. Me too. Thank you, Chester. Thank you. Sleep well. And kind of runs the hand over the side of your head. Good night. You turn around and nestle under your pillow and look back, and he's gone. You guys scatter to your rooms. You go back feeling better. And close the door and kind of sigh and start preparing yourself for the evening's rest. And you hear a familiar voice creep in over your shoulders. He's not wrong, Jester. Wait, he's not wrong about. He's not wrong about you are doing big preparations? Well, there's a big event coming up, of course. But not wrong about you changing those around you. 
even if I'm not there in person, I'm always there. And you see the face kind of come over your shoulder, the familiar hood lean forward, the smile across the lips, the arm touch your shoulder. I know faith can be challenging, but you were my first, and you'll always be my favorite. <laughs> do you want me to do a big performance? Do you want me to do something special at TravelCon? I didn't realize I haven't asked you any questions, and we need to ask questions about like, what you want me to do? Should they get cloaks together? Sure. Oh, okay, okay. I trust your ideas. I trust your inspirations. We're going to make it so special. <laughs> that we shall. <laughs> oh. I can't wait. Action. I mean, isn't he busy getting ready for TC? TCOM? Yeah, but I can try. Travco? Okay, yeah. I have such an intimate relationship with him. Maybe he's seen the switch. Maybe. I haven't asked him. Have I? Don't believe you have. I haven't asked him. Go ahead. Mm. All right. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I hop down off of the horse. Okay. And I set up my little, all my statues that I've made of him. You can build a little makeshift altar right there on the side of the pathway. Mm -hmm. There's a little alcove on the side of the rock where you can easily set them up, and it looks like it was. You know, intentional and probably has been there for a while. This is nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna, you know, try to uh, commune. All right, you're casting commune. Got it. Okay. I oh, get three questions. Mm-hmm. You do. Under. Yeah. <clears throat> As you finish arranging them in the circle, you sit down, finish. Uh, part of the spell setup is you even arranging them in a way that is both. Uh, kind of ascending in size and geometrically placed that is pleasing to the eye. Um, but as you finish the final bits of your incantation, you feel your smile grow, and you close your eyes, and think very, very hard in the way that you do prayer loudly, and all of you guys hear what she thinks might be your inside voice, but she speaks <laughs> loudly around you. Traveler, okay, so um, we are here, and I need to talk to you, um, and I miss you, can you come? That was this. Will it be a question if I ask if you can come talk to me? Just come talk to me, please, okay? That's not a question. Um, we're communing now. <laughs> <laughs> um, as the rain continues to fall around you, um, the vicinity that you're sitting has been getting slightly drier, or at least the, the vicinity around this, this little ritual you've set up seems to have no longer fallen under the rainfall, and there's a moment, momentary reprieve from it. As you can open your eyes and look up, you can see a green cloak blocking the rain from touching you. You see the dark hood shaded over you, and uh, do you are, are you all watching her do this ritual? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You see emerge from the stone what? a figure in a green cloak step from outside of the mountain and protect her from the rain. Looking down towards you, you, you can see just a faint bit of the chin from what bit of light is coming through uh, from bouncing off the ground, and you see a smile. It seems you called me, my dear. Yeah, I hope that's okay. Um, I tried to talk to you before, and um, you didn't come, so I thought maybe what um, would be better is if I actually, you know, really set it up. Oh, I've been very busy setting up for our coming event. I know, I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna need your help here soon enough. I bought so much fabric, we can make, you know, cloaks and, and outfits for everybody. Wonderful. Divine right? Sense. Okay. Divine what? sense? Oh. Okay, divine sense. Oh, shit. Oh, on the giant green cloak that just came out of the rock. Oh. oh. As an action, oh, you can detect good and evil until the end of your next turn. You can sense anything affected by the house spell or another location of each celestial fiend undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Okay. I've seen this, right? Both saw the cloak. Saw him gotcha. You do not sense anything. Do not sense anything. You do not sense anything. Oh, so, not a celestial fiend undead. That's good. Not good or, or evil? Or affected by the house spell. It's just divine sense. 
Let me check the hallow spell real fast, just to double check. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't, I don't remember the specifics of it, so I want to make sure. sense good or evil? No, it's just it's specific it's types. types of things. I'll detect good and evil. Well, it's just maybe it would be a celestial, kind of but really, if he is a deity, this is Liam talking, he is. he's something other than... Wait, so isn't anything we'll that... It says affected, uh, you can sense anything affected by the hallow that. spell. I don't know what that is. Okay. You do sense something. What does that mean? What does that even mean? What does that mean? What's Where a hallow spell? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. What? Just... What's a hallow you, spell? You, you, you sense a, a presence that kind of clicks into your attention. That's your question. Okay, so we're on our way up north. Do you guys see this like mm -hmm. witch lady who's like super, super creepy and she put a curse on Nod. That's and terrible. I know, and she also fucked with Bo's dad. And so basically we want to know if um, you know the best way to like get rid of that curse. Should we like talk to her? Should we attack her? Uh, as is the nature of such mysteries, I need you to ask me the right kind of question. Uh, this is getting so specific. Well. Okay. I'm bound by incantations. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, this is not the way I should talk to you then, because I don't like you being bound. Just ask me a proper <laughs> question, please. Oh, what should I ask him? How should I ask this? I'm not there. Oh, Do we gosh. hear him speaking, or is it just her? Um, you guys don't hear any conversation, just her side of it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. To break the curse, do we need to kill her? Which curse? This has several curses. I'm, he knows what curse I'm talking about. I don't know what curse you're talking about. The you curse. Okay. And that is a method. Okay. Best I can ascertain. I haven't met the woman. Okay, I'm glad you told me that, because that was going to be one of my questions. But such curses, there can be many ways. Really? Don't answer that. What is the shortest route to get to her? Uh, the hood curls up a bit, and you see like, puts a finger up in the direction, and kind of looking in all, and it crossed the path to all of you, and kind of gives a nod to the group as the attention passes over you, and points and goes, I think that might be the path you want to take, and points, uh, there, from where you're standing, you can see it switch back a bit, and it does split uh, at some point halfway down the mountain as the trees begin to grow more and more dense. The direction he's pointing ends up going a little further, like northwest. Okay. Um, is there anything we can do to help prepare ourselves to meet her? Yes. Oh. It's been wonderful. Oh. <laughs> and he pinches the edge of your chin. Now, I've got to get back to my work. Oh. And he vanishes. And you guys watch as the cloak kind of swirls, and then this kind of dull flash of greenish blue light is gone. For the, uh, the early portion of the night, in that time that you're finishing your card drawing, and Getting excited. You can't help but kind of catch something in the corner of your eye. And outside of the dome, beyond the edge of the glade, you see a familiar green robe. You step out of the dome and quietly make your way beyond the clearing where the traveler waits as you. 
Come with me. You've always been so quick to learn, so very clever. I grow so proud. I think it's time. Time for what? Do you trust me? With everything in my being. Come. He turns and walks further into the darkness of the jungle, a faint kind of green glow lighting up the space around him as he walks. I glance back at the dome. <sighs> Take off after the traveler. Okay. As he walks, you can see, kind of out of the corner of the green light, the vines almost expanding and growing more vibrant around him. Flowers kind of As he steps to an area and kind of puts his hand to one side, you can see one of the trees kind of very quietly bends and moves aside, where a little corner of the jungle is kind of serene and removed from the dense expanse around you. Is this the oasis? No, this is your oasis. It's a place to talk. He stands and turns facing you. And he pulls his hood back revealing his almost elf-like features, the more exaggerated and fey, his long ears curling behind the head. Beyond any elves that you've seen, his almond-shaped eyes of emerald green and brilliant beneath his thin, feather-like brows. A voluminous orange-red hair curls down the back of the head like a lion's mane, and he smiles. Jester, you are my first disciple. The first one to truly carve the world with your cunning, your joy, and your mischief. I trust you. And are you ready for the absolute truth? Yes. I am the traveler, but it was not always this way. For when I traveled here, it was a, a world before me where I was without burdens, without responsibilities, and without limitations. I drank deep of the muted colors of Alexandria, straining to exit. I plucked at and knotted the lives of many fools from the shadows, amusing myself by leaping into every whim with glee and purpose. And one day I met a little girl who sought that same spark. A little girl who found joy in exposing life's more subtle hypocrisies. A little blue girl who lived a life so small but felt in her heart there was so much more to see. This little girl and I found a kinship. And in that childlike wonder, of you so untempered by the sanctimonious morality of man. And she saw me as a god. So for her, for you, I don the mask of one. I found that with such pure, absolute faith granted towards me, I was exhilarated. I began to seek others who might be waiting for such guidance to bring a bit of un, well, necessary chaos into the world. One by one I traveled and found more souls who needed direction, who found themselves in our shenanigans. It was beautiful. Eons living for only myself, I, I found a new joy in helping others find themselves in a world cruel and painted in dull, divided pigments. With each new faith, I could find myself, I could feel myself becoming what you believed. Then more came. Playful pranks turned into demands. Prayers fighting for my attention. Freshly freed from previously imposed boundaries, I'd managed to really construct my own. 
Now, such faith granted me power beyond what I thought possible to achieve. I was being spread too thin across those who I'd taken under my wing. I thought to bring them all together to unify their causes and perhaps forge community under this banner, my banner, our banner. We are weeks away from the gathering of my lost children who have wound their lives around my boons and counsel. The truth, Jester, is that I have no idea what I'm doing, and I need your help. That's where it ends the next episode. Oh! Just sit there. Fuck off, David Bowie. Fuck off. No one wants you here, David Bowie. Oh my god. Go back to your home, David Bowie. It's so cold. It's so cold. I mean, this was Jester's fault the whole time. Oh my god. Leave me, Bowie. Cold? Yes. It's a cult. No, now he's gonna be a god. You know what's on? There's paper pants. It's a cult. Elven features. It's all again. It's all again. Totally again. Come on. You're saying totally. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit. Wow. David Bowie. <laughs> Just David Bowie. I have no <laughs> yeah. idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, if I were ever to meet a god and they said that to me, I'd be like, okay, and now I believe that I you are. This <laughs> <laughs> got way out of hand. <laughs> Travel Con is just our tag and strangling 500 people. <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, Garmelie, our tag and there was some. Yeah, yeah. Artigan Artigan. or our tag and and then it was like by name right. was actually. Garmelie was like the fall. The fall. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Holy. So much. So long. Long. Just the font, was that a, an illusion yeah. for him? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like his changed yeah. shape. Yeah. Little trickster font. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. You did oh, this. Fuck. I'm so oh, excited. You did this. You're a huge, oh. you did this. <laughs> I am Lord Artagon of the Morn Crown, and I am the Traveler. You, Jester Lavore, are my protege, my most prized pupil. You hold the purest priorities to see the world turned on its head. I know I can trust you. Will you help me? Will obviously. Good, good. I knew I could believe in you. <laughs> um, I guess our our tagging. The traveler is fine. Traveler, um. <laughs> Do you want this? I Do you I... want to be a god? <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm enjoying aspects of it. I've enjoyed the um, the adoration. I've enjoyed the extensions of my tangled web finding its way to generally twist and tease the mundane idiots that seem to permeate this plane. <laughs> uh, but I've reached a point where I generally don't know what to do from this point forward. I don't know if I have too many followers. I don't know if I should just cut free and run away. Well, I mean, do you get more power from more people following you? It feels that way to an extent. If they follow you, do you have to answer them? Not always. I mean, I haven't always answered you. Oh, I wish I could have, trust me, I really wish I could have, but I'm not one entity. Well, I mean, whatever we decide, um, I mean, are you still going to hang out with me? If you'd have me. Okay, good. I would be really sad if, you know, you didn't want to do that anymore. Well, if I was to leave, I'd take you with me. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Where would we go? All sorts of places. Now that the doorway has been open for some time, I think we can travel quite easily through many of the planes, maybe other worlds. This is but one of many prime materials. I'd be curious to see what else relies out there, huh? Me too. I mean, we have to, you know, 
take care of some stuff here first, but... Um... Do you, do, do you know what's going on with everyone that, you know, I'm hanging out with? No, not entirely. They seem rather boorish. Though I do worry that half-orc mama's boy seems to have picked up on my recent sloppiness, if you will. Oh, well, he would never judge, you know. He's he's actually really polite, and um, I mean, yeah, kind of a mama's boy, but not in that way. I mean, he's really reliable is really what it comes down to. You're your friends, your companions. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are their thoughts on us? Um, they all seem pretty supportive of it. Um, you know, some of them are like, oh, I don't know, I've not heard of him before, and I've told them all about you. Well, I mean, so it's still know. kind of a new thing we're working on. Right, The branding right. aspect But of here's the child, question, so. I mean, should I be telling people about you? Well, of course, that was the whole idea. Well, I know, but what? the more people I tell, the more people that are going to want to rely on you, and I you'll know. have to answer to them, what do we do? That's why I'm here. I don't know. What? I like the attention. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I have, here's, here's hmm. an option. Yes? What if, you know, at TravelerCon, we, like, establish you as, like, this god that can always hear, but you're more like the other gods, you know, that are like, oh, you know, like, okay, so could you just, he worships, like, this wild mother? I'm familiar. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, when he asks her questions, you know what she does? She Nothing. blows the wind. Exactly. She does shit. <laughs> so, and he's like, oh, I sense, you know, I understand what she's saying. She's not doing anything, but he thinks she is. Interesting. Yeah. So and you, he seems uh, content. Yeah, yeah. He's like totally into her. <sighs> People are strange. No. So um, you could be like that, you know, where people ask you things and you don't do anything, and they'll still think you're doing something. But I've already been so involved. Won't they be disappointed if suddenly I'm just not appearing? Well, we just have to establish it as like there's like a new way of doing things, you know. Interesting. Like, you've gotten so powerful that you're always, always with us, and you hear our thoughts, and um, you control everything, and... So the party is a goodbye, kind of, but loosely. But not for me, not for me, just for no. all those other people that are, like, less important. And now they have friends, they've met, they can... They we can rely on each other. All right, I love that. Totally. When anything goes good, it's because of me. If anything goes bad, it's because of them. Right, or, you know, they'll find greater purpose in the bad things. You know, they'll be like, oh, everything happens for a reason. That's <laughs> ridiculous, but I'm happy for them to be content with that. I know, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nothing um, happens for a reason. It's absolute fucking chaos. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Help him. Oh, no. <laughs> So, I mean, one of the things we could do, you know, what if I just had everybody, like all my friends, you know? Yes. What if we got to TravelerCon and we were all like your high priests and high priestesses and stuff, and like we helped establish how the religion was going to be, you know? We could show people how to pray to you if they haven't done that before, you know? All right. I'm going to warn you, it's a very... Eclectic mix. Are any of them as powerful as me? No, not at all. Okay, so we can totally fool them. Yet. Okay. What? Well, you got to make sure I'm always ahead of them. Well, you're doing great. I'm not. Look, just don't worry. Just don't get lazy. I'm never going to be lazy. I know. Well. So, we gather your friends, convince them to help. You yeah. act as acolytes. Um, yeah. We have a celebration. Yeah, what shows. are we going to do there? I mean, what do we do? If, like, give like a concert or like. No theater. But. <laughs> <laughs> music. <laughs> music, perhaps. We can bring some performers in. Okay. Um, yes. Yes, refreshments. Yeah, obviously. 
Right, right. Yeah. You could do some displays of power. I mean, it is a volcano. Maybe we can make it erupt. Well, just make sure, you know, that, well, I mean, it would solve your problems if, like, they all got wiped out at the same time. I True. suppose. Then they wouldn't be relying on you anymore, but the, your power might get less. It's not even about the power at this point, it's just about keeping it interesting. Oh, well, then, you know, that could be something. But, you know, I'll be there and you love me so much, that would be not so Yeah, there's no right valid point, no volcano. Yeah, okay. Yet. Wait till we leave. Maybe. <laughs> so, should it be like a ta-ta and I leave into the sky? I, I mean, should maybe I, we can make you, can you, dust can like you make yourself grow like super, super, super big? And like fill up the whole almost sky, like you know, like this great big presence, and then you like lift up and you you disappear, and we're like, oh, yes, a visual ascension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm with them at all times, yeah, not like, answering a damn thing. Right, but they'll think you're it. even bigger than you you ever have been. You're answering to so many people, you can't possibly be there with them personally. But they'll have each other. Delightfully foolish. I love it. Yeah. We'll tell you. We'll tell them you can also communicate through the wind. I feel like that's a bit hackneyed territory, to be honest. No, I don't. I don't. Melora kind of, kind of leans in that space a bit heavy for me. Okay. Well, we're still clear of that, I guess. But. All right. Well, let's let's table the miracle for now. I'll I'll put some thought to it. If anything comes inspiration-wise to you. Just... All right. But we should definitely come up with some sort of ceremony to make you ascend. Right. All right. Okay. I'll start assembling some flowers, pillars, Ooh. an archway. Ooh. I've got some ideas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what? Can you open up your <laughs> gateway and like bring some stuff in from another plane, and that way, like people are seeing things that they've never seen before, and it'll make it like even more powerful and special there. I, uh, I can open a gateway. The gateway to my. Home realm mm -hmm. um, is a bit stationary, but uh, I can still give the essence of it. Okay. I can make it presentary, grandiose. I like it. Illusory, but effective, especially for the layman. Okay. And I will make um, programs, you know, to pass out to everyone so they'll have like a something to take home with them, and Keepsakes. they can get, yeah, 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 yeah. Things That'd to, shadow box, good, yeah. good. You know, yeah. It's important to have a physical memory of the occasion. <laughs> yeah. A reminder, good. See, this is why I came to you. I'm so bad with planning. You know. I'm more of a kind of in the moment and improvised kind of. Understand, I mean, obviously we'll leave room for craziness <gasps> to happen. Oh, there will be craziness, my jester, don't you worry. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Just give me much to think about. Did you want to come say hi to everyone? I mean, they're going to be your high priests and stuff. They appear to be sleeping. That's true. Do they like being woken up in the middle of the night? I mean... How do I wait till breakfast? How do they've eaten? We'll eat, then you will, like, come in, see if we can fool them and make them think that you're, like, like even bigger than you are, right? So like, they will like see what we can do for them to make other. It'll be like a test run. Okay. So, mm, all right. So we're trying to trick your friends as well. Yeah, but then we'll we'll let them know. I'll follow your lead. Okay. You'll know when I arrive. Yes, I will. Chester. Well, uh, I just. But does this mean you're not always with me? It means I'll be with you as much as I've always been. And if they're not yelling into my ears as much, maybe I could be around more often. Okay. You're still my favorite. And you're always moving. Go. Rest and he extends his hand and you watch as all the local bush kind of yeah, bends and pulls away. Yeah, you do this away. the rest of the time, though? Because this would really help our track through the jungles. Oh, I'm sure it could, but I've got a lot to do with oh. the planning and the individuals. You understand. 
But I'm, I, I've given you some tools. I'm sure you could find your way. We'll find our way. But if you rely on me continuously, how are you going to prove yourself? How will I be more powerful than everyone else? Exactly. I'm going to find my way back. You don't even need to make this path for me. I'll take it, but you don't need to. And walk, walk really fast away so that he doesn't take it away as I okay. make my way. He does this with his hand, and you watch little flowers go boop, 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 kind of following your footfalls as you make your way through. It can just be beautiful. It doesn't have to be helpful. And you kind of just run forward and look back, and he's gone. My shoulders kind of slump, mm -hmm. and I go back to my tent, the dome, and I sit down. Oh man, can you hear me now? Oh man, I go to sleep. Mm. All right. The watch goes uneventful throughout the evening thanks to the protectiveness of the dome. The morning comes to, it is warm as the dome itself vanishes at the ending of its duration. The humidity and the heat immediately comes in sticky. You can hear the insects heavily starting to buzz around you. The air itself still has that kind of strange, earthy sweetness to it, like various flowers and heavy jungle plants are giving off aromas to attract insects or larger creatures towards them. Oh my god, Sam, you... you <laughs> out of control. <laughs> <laughs> but you all come to consciousness. No, they're not in here. Don't worry about it. Oh, they're definitely here. No, no, no. The dome's no. Gone. no. <sighs> uh, it's so much um, warmer here than I. Everyone, drink, drink water. Why? This is how we've been sweating. Uh, are you drenched sweat? I'm actually quite cool. Drink water. Mm. I go to reach for my flask, and it's not there. Mm. What? Wow. Too far. I, she said to drink. Water. Water. Oh, water. It's the same thing. There's water in it. They I, use water to make it. Yeah, I here is my skin. Yeah. yeah. It, Caleb, it's me. <laughs> Great minds. <laughs> I open up the flask and I start drinking. Mm. Oh! What? <laughs> <laughs> Yasha. Cool. What? Oh, did you want some of this too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if that's the most supportive what? thing to do. Well, well, yeah. well, I feel that's like, you know, kind of you, 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 throw, you throw a person into the deep end. Mm -hmm. Isn't so, that the way you do it? And then that's how they If you're trying to drown recover? them, sure, you throw them into the deep end. <laughs> you know, got to figure out how to swim. Wasn't trying to prove any point. I was just being, like, super selfish. I don't think so. that hydrates you at all, though. I already drank, like, a bunch of water. Mm. Okay. Hey, hey, one. what are we doing this morning? <laughs> Oh yeah, where are we going? Sure. Do you can, know where we're going? I can get us out of here if we want to go. Oh, that's right. No. That was the whole point of sleeping. Wait, go where? Well, we could leave uh, and head back to a city, or we no, are we're traveling on. We're going. Yeah. We're going. Oh, we're going. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Wait, wait. Before we go, I have <sighs> to pray to oh. the traveler. Oh. To. You do that? You pray daily now? Well, yeah, I. it's how I decide. Uh, help. He helps me figure out what yeah, I'm going to do for the day. She draws a dick on a tree or something. I mean. Yeah, know. I'm going to go carve a dick on a tree. Oh, okay. Well, you should have just and said that. Say, um, hey, traveler. We're going to get going. We had some breakfast, and I'm going to carve this dick. <laughs> As All right, you, while you carve that, 50 push-ups, let's go. Fucking. Yeah, right. come on. You guys get part way through your push-ups you, before you begin to hear this like dull cracking sound. <laughs> right as Jester finishes her carving of the dick on the side of a jungle tree, you hear <laughs> as the outside of the tree begins to splinter and split. And from the edges of this carved dick, 
you see flowers begin to bloom and erupt from it. Vines begin to suddenly start shifting out of it at a rapid pace and swirling around, almost encapsulating a large majority of this clearing you guys have been sleeping in, the fallen, rotted log that you had set yourself to rest against, itself being kind of swallowed by these vines as flowers of all colors begin to permeate. The scent of the air immediately begins to change to a very welcoming, almost almost bakery-like aroma. You can see glowing fireflies beginning to tangle through in swirl. The wind itself becomes cool and kind of sends a chill through your back. Yet it's alarming, but you feel comfortable. Praise be! What is happening? What is this? Oh, this is a bit weird. Did you do this? The Traveler has made his presence known! <laughs> this is the, this is the... <laughs> You watch as the dick suddenly begins to fold into, I love oh that, that that's the base of it, oh fold, to fold into the tree and become a doorway. Oh, a small doorway that grows in size. Well, that doesn't work he out. travels! So the base grows. <laughs> the dick hole. He travels everywhere, to and fro, he uh, travels a bright, great distances because he is like a that? god. A bright, kind of tealish light begins to emerge from this carved hole in the center that opens up into an arched gateway. Okay, well, that is a urethra. Oh. <laughs> and stepping from it, you see, to you, and a handful of you in glimpses, a familiar green-robed figure. A few steps back. I get down and kneel. And... Is this... This is the Traveler, no? I know, but, but... The hand reaches out and touches the top of Jester's head. Thank you, my acolyte. Oh. Hello. Everybody, everybody say hi to the hi, traveler. Hello. hello. Oh. How are you doing? He's a god, hi. so he's really cool. So, Friends of Jester, you've traveled and kept her safe, and for that I'm thankful. And we are on the cusp of a grand event, one that Jester may need your aid in. Oh. Um, understood. Should we just should we just tell them now? If you want, I mean, you can tell them. I okay. Can. What's happening? Yeah, I feel like what is this? Hey, so there's something really awesome happening that I just found out about. Um, the traveler is mm, not actually a god, god, god. I'm sorry. But he's like uh -huh. a mostly god, god. Right. I go up and I touch him. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of, he kind of goes, whoa, whoa, kind of gets pushed back a bit and puts a hand up and just as a as a reaction and the vines around wrap around I, your arm and I hold it in place. Him? Can I can I like monk parry him? Gonna, he's a god. I touch him. Make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I believe in you. I Where are my d20s? I'm jumping up and trying to get the between them. The has taken Where your are my <laughs> Okay. Dexterity saving throw? Correct. Okay. Uh, um, 22. 22. The vines shh, come out towards you, and in slow motion, as they're about to wrap around your wrists, you shh, 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 pull your arm out and then shh, snap shut. And he goes, shit. <laughs> I turn around. Yeah, not a god. Hey, I said he's an almost like god, not a god god. Okay, so here's the thing I'm realizing now. Maybe at TravelerCon you don't appear in the flesh. Like, you just should not. What the appear fuck is going all. on? What are you like, talking about? You should about? always be, like, bigger, right? Because I think, mean, like, okay. if you're here as a, as a you person. Watch as the traveler's form suddenly swells Whoa. to about 15 feet Whoa. tall, the, the, the bounce cracking above him. I didn't think this through. Yeah, so maybe not. Maybe maybe back to normal size for the introduction. Maybe maybe come come back down here, friend. Is this too much? Oh, too much. God, <laughs> jeez. I am the. Tr uh, pulls the hood back and kind of sits on his knees. <laughs> kind of goes. <laughs> yeah, like huge fucking knees. He's kind of consuming half of this open space now. The vine's still around, like the still like glittering firebugs, but now is just this sitting giant with the bright mane of orange hair, the elongated fey ears, the fine pointed features. I go up and pat his, well, I guess his calf. About that's probably. He kind of puts a hand down. Chester. I climb on his hand. Chester, to what do we owe this uh, vi visitation after so many months with you? Well, TravelerCon's coming up, right? Yeah, sure. 
and we gotta figure out a way to make, you know, all the other people attending TravelerCon not have to talk to him as much. Because it's annoying. What does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, this is a lot. Okay, so. <laughs> Wait, first of all, who is this guy? Oh, this is the Traveler. But you said that the Traveler was a god who's been with you forever and whose faith you put. You, you follow? Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. I was thinking about it a lot last night and. I don't remember you ever telling me you actually were a god, so I can no. totally blame you for this. It was kind of an assumption it's, I wasn't quick to correct. I, I it just felt so no. No, yeah, but you, you just told her all of this last night. You thought this whole time that he. Is this a bad idea? Should I go? No, stay, please. We have heard so much about you. See? I've heard a few things about you. I saw you in Asarius. Did you see me, or was that like a mistake? Was I not supposed to see you? I was probably running were you drunk? towards the end of my you were drunk. end of my threats. I was not drunk. I was oh. tired. Okay. If we may yeah, be so, so bold, um, yeah. you're, you're an almost god. Is this what you would refer to yourself as? This is an almost god. Um, I'm gonna set Jester down a bit. <laughs> I am an unaffiliated what you would call an archfey. What does that mean? Arch. Arch means evil, doesn't it? Unaffiliated. Like your arch nemesis? Sir, no. Your arch, arch rival? It's only used it, in bad things. It means like the greater. Grand. Oh, okay. More than. Right. I can do many things. But I am not a god. And I've been enjoying helping people. I've helped Jester for the better part of two decades now, I think it is. And in doing so, I think I've helped all of you quite a bit. But just to be clear, you're not a god. I thought you were, I thought you were a, 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 a holy magician, a holy mage. No, I think he is more like this. Frumpkin appears on the ground. No, oh. oh, but not <laughs> him. Her. Yeah. Where do you get your powers from, then? From oh, him. This also from me. But you're not. A... Oh, do you think gods are the only entities that can grant their essence and powers to lesser beings? What do you think demonic entities make choices with? I can already sense some dark deals in your half orc friend here. Thank you. No, I just think it gives a little bit more credit to her. That's all. Oh, all credit goes to her. She's amazing. But just know, just because I'm not a god doesn't mean that I'm not trustworthy or important or capable or a friend. You could kill all of us right now if you want to. I actually really could. It'd be very easy. But I'm not going to do that because that's not interesting. That's not fun. What are you here to do? Find things that are interesting and have fun. What if? Oh my God! Ultimate trick. Mm-hmm. You don't show up to travel con. What if everybody gets there and you don't come? I mean, <laughs> that would be pretty great. It's a pretty good trick. Oh, so many angry people. I know. I know. I know. Are you okay with dealing with that kind of customer support? <laughs> well. Because if so, I'm. All about it. <laughs> you seem very uh, forthright. Um, to follow up on my friend's question, what is it that you do want besides to have fun? Any particular goal? Not really. When you've lived as long as I have, you just good, bad, it all blends together. It's about uh, keeping things interesting, fluid, weird. The gods think it that you're, you know, acting like a god. Can they get mad at you? Do I care? I don't know. Hmm. I think it depends on the god in particular. I'm not doing anything to bother any of them That's directly, true. and there's not, I think, it didn't do much. They're all locked away in their little ethereal closets on the other side of the gate. Are they aware of you? I'm sure they're aware of me. Uh, Frumpkin, the little capuchin monkey, starts climbing up his ropes and up into his hair and swinging about. He doesn't even, he like acknowledges with his eyes, but just lets it go. 
Do you have a, a lot of followers? Oh, oh yeah, how many people are on Meta? Maybe about two, a little over 200. 200? That's so many more than I thought. I was thinking, like, not that many. Just right. That seems like a rather small number, actually. I thought. It's a very curated circle of individuals, thank you. I've seen this face before on other people. What are you talking about? Oh, man, you don't know what you're doing, do you? I like him. <laughs> he's the one, he's the one that, that, that listens to the wind. Yeah. What? Hmm. I can smell her on you. Oh, yeah. She's boorish, but I like her color scheme and style. It's fine. I caught half of that. Uh, I thought that was mushrooms. <laughs> that is mushrooms. Very acute. Thanks. <laughs> Anyway. It feels like if you have this uh, con or whatever at a, uh, that a, a volcano is too large of a venue. For 200 <laughs> For people. 200 people. It doesn't have to take up the whole volcano, well, right? Just the, like, on the size of the volcano. I mean, it's not like we're going to be like in the middle of the volcano, are we? That seems dangerous. Beach party. I mean, I think they are, they are preaching exclusivity. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the elite. We're Everyone that's a traveler con. We can make everybody think that you know only they were invited. There's a lot more traveler followers out there. That is viable. Yeah. The chosen few. Exactly. And the goal of traveler con, besides being new and exciting, is to perhaps launch your faith to a greater reach. That is a good point. Opposite. Um, it's to disengage a bit. Let them find each other and. Not oh. bother me as much. Yeah. So the goal is to make everybody believe oh. that that you know he's too powerful to be like as present in their lives. So we have to show them that he's you know that's not how you're supposed to pray to him. That he answers miracles in different ways. How are you going to do that with exclusivity? Then the, it feels like it clashes. Well, then they can go out and spread the word and let everyone know that this is how the Traveler works. You're right. hosting a dinner right. party, a mixer, but with no guest right. of honor. With very like high profile mm. well, guests. There's a particular word, I think, that deals specifically with this, oh. that has been very prevalent through much of mortal history. The word is faith, mm. and it means I was gonna say cult. I was really giving cult. everything I was gonna say and expecting and receiving honestly in the realms of religion, very little in return. Well, it's yeah. a cult. Well, uh, uh, that's a cult. No, 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 that's faith. It's a thin line. Mm. Wait, wait, okay, hang on, wait, we're doing way too much planning and there, there are like yeah. other questions. Yeah, there's other questions first. Hang on. You said, you said that you, you, you're in this for the, for the lulls a little bit, like you're, you're, ju you're just, you just want to, to make fun and trickery and stuff. What happens if my friend Jesse says no, or or you grow bored of her? You told us that you could kill us. Is she in danger? Does she have to follow you? She doesn't have to. You want to abandon these? I would not abandon you. I know you wouldn't. Oh, okay. What about us, though? If we don't say yes, are you going to kill us? I'm not going to kill you unless you give me a reason to. Well, if we say no to this traveler. That's not a good reason. He knows I love you all. Well, I think in this okay. instance, we are just concerned for our friend Chester. The other 199 or what have you, we do not know them, but uh, are you with her for the long haul? Because she has great faith in you, we, we have heard. And I would never much. let that faith down. Inside check. Make an inside check. Okay. Shaka. <laughs> Shaka. Oh god, it's Both. terrible. Eight. No, nine. 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 Yeah, mortal balls. Horrible. Horrible. There is such a presence of personality and slick, in spite of your prickly nature, Fuck, he's good. Uh, a likable quality to him that you have no idea. Uh, all right, well, I guess I feel slightly more relieved that you're not intending to harm any of us, but backing up to the Traveler Con a bit, your plan is to get 200 people together 
and just trick them with, well, we, with, okay. with theatricality. We have to figure it out, okay? It's a I lot of pressure. Like, okay, I'm not the best one to speak to this. Caduceus, I feel, is. But I feel like if you're going to establish a group that's supposed to support each other or be there for each other, you need to give them something. And I'm not talking about an object or money or anything. Like something to be faithful in, a set of guidelines, precepts. Yeah, this is what we gotta figure out, something right? To, something to follow, a code, Yeah, do you have right? a credo or a manifesto? But that's what the, the whole system. point of tra- Traveler is to not have that, we just... You need a story. Thank you, Caduceus. A story? Yeah, like, what do you believe in, man? <laughs> what when do you people, want the world to be? When people talk about you, what do you want them to say? Yeah, what are your adjectives? This would actually help me a lot, because I am very bad at this. She has been describing you to people in pamphlets, I'm sure you've seen them, as a really cool have you guy. you the pamphlets? I have not seen any of these oh pamphlets. Oh my gosh, I think they're my bag. Here. They say that this you're a really, gargantuan really body cool holding guy. this tiny pamphlet. <laughs> Like, really cool guy who does really cool things. Yeah. And you're super powerful. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. And with that, there's a like a swirl of greenish blue wind, and he's back to a regular, though still taller than most of you, uh, form. And he's looking at the pamphlet. Frumpkin sitting on his shoulder. Mm. This is quite good. The artistic yeah. oh, yeah. details on this. And the margins as well. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, this pamphlet, while amazingly designed and beautiful. Thank you. I don't feel it's a, uh, it's not something that your followers would carry around and be like, have you read this book? You know, it's not, it doesn't have that kind of heft to it, Here's right? Here's the thing. You ask me what I want. That's a hard question to ask me. I've wanted many things. I've gained many and grown bold, and I've forgotten some and not cared. What matters is what I want right now. And I think what I want right now is to successfully continue to build a religious cult. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and both where <laughs> only <laughs> where only you and I and the rest of us know the truth. Because my what a trick that would be. Pretty great. It's they're, pretty oh, great. No. They're inventing Sea Org. <laughs> I am so conflicted. Okay, I mean, uh-huh. first off, maybe use Order. club yes. instead? Club or organization? Religion. Only outwardly, yes. Yeah. I just thought it was a fun term already thrown out. <laughs> Super fun. I'm, I'm also sensing a theme of, of more of a, a rejection of, of norms and mm. uh, structure. Yeah. yeah. So perhaps the message is 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 throwing off the shackles of conformity, of conformity tradition, responsibility. Yeah, uh, hedonistic. Yes. Chaos crew. Well. Chaos crew. Chaos crew. No one can see this over here. <laughs> Chaos crew. So your objective is to have fun and not to <laughs> achieve some sort of tax-exempt status, correct? <laughs> the third one's silent. I have no interest in monetary gain. If that's what you're inquiring about. I mean, if no one's getting hurt, I bought enough fabric so all of us can be high priests at Traveler Con. Should we sign up for a minute? Wow. People, people being tricked <clears throat> is fun. Extremely shitty people being tricked is so much more fun. And there are so many shitty people just waiting to be tricked. It's true. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's true. I'm, what? Yeah. Oh gosh, I think I'm just confused about how I feel like you've been tricking Jester. Uh, I'm just, if that's part of your thing, I don't know how I feel about that, you know? (sighs) Not intentionally. I understand where your concern lies, but have you found yourself 
trusting and caring for other people and yet keeping things secret to yourself to keep them safe? To make them feel comfortable? Yes, please. Yes, I feel like that's different, but yes. Yeah. I didn't intend for this to be what it was, but it was this young girl's joy and faith in me that brought me on this path. If anything, she tricked me. <laughs> I mean, you gave me a lot of powers, you know? I like you didn't lie helpful. about that. So you want to... And they're still scrubbing the paint from their temple, by the way. <laughs> oh, yes. So <laughs> mad. Oh, I can tell. You I mean, don't want to deal with the day-to-day -day struggles of being a god. You want to... Retire. Why do you think the gods went behind the Divine Gate? Because it was to preserve the things they created? Because of the damage of the Calamity? No! They got bored of having to do the bidding of every mortal at their feet, and they left to take vacation forever and occasionally send a bit of power their way. Well, you know, a lot of us certainly trust Chester completely, and um, we also know a great many shitty people. I wonder if we help uh, create the best traveler con that ever was. If maybe we could make it a full circle and you could help us with some of those shitty people. Oh, I already have been. We know we have seen it. As long as you have her around, you'll have me around. Well, we would have to put on a very good show then. Here's the thing, though. No, kinda, no I'm kinda, absolutely not. With Yasha, those those things have repercussions on like a grander scale. Which bits? Sometimes, if you trick dumb, stupid, idiotic people, it informs the rest of their lives. But I am not talking about dumb, idiotic people. I am talking about the most intelligent, ruthless people in this world. I mean, I was right. I we, I I was a big fan of practical jokes, and I mean, you were, think, you were. Things could get out of hand on occasion. It's been a while. I knew I liked him. I mean, if things do get out of hand, it can be a problem. I'm not going to speak more on the subject right now, but well, you just don't know how to escape. You just, you just have to bounce away. It's only a problem if you remain to be there for it. You turn invisible, you run away, you dimension door. There's so many options. I'm not really a runner. All I'm you saying, have to run. It could be just an easy step. All I'm saying is this, and I cast Seeming, hmm? and everyone's wearing green robes. Oh, I didn't even have to buy the stupid fabric! <laughs> See a big smile curl across his face. We have done a great many great things together. Make mine have more embroidery. It has more embroidery. <laughs> uh, I have no uh, desire to harm innocent people, but we could create something unique, a bit of life, you know, in a hard life. We are in control of ourselves. We do not have to harm anyone. Unless there are people who deserve to be harmed. That is a super intense responsibility and kind of requires a certain amount of ego to like say that. Hello, my name is Caleb Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I can subscribe to that, but. Um, I owe Jester a great deal, and it would be unconscionable not to help you with whatever path you're moving towards, either for the delight of crowds or to keep anything from getting out of hand. I agree that, uh, I mean, I, I'm just here for Jester as well, and if these people have, are going to come to the, the volcano and, and expect something, I suppose it would be more fulfilling for them to, to get 
some sort of a show than to leave disappointed and empty. Yeah. But I still would like to, I'd prefer it if they were set up with some sort of path to success or happiness rather than just being tricked for trickery's sake. Right, we want them to be happy. It's, I mean, it you, feels good to believe. Your, your belief in the Traveler has helped you a great deal, not just because he's bestowed upon you powers, but also he's given you friendship. Yeah. And it would be nice to give the other people at, at your con that same potential. He walks forward towards you, Jester, seeing the, the hints of doubt and small, cold trickle of sorrow of the reality that you've been wrestling with since the evening. Kind of just reaches out and touches your chin and goes, words are just words. I'm what I've always been and what you've made me. This has not changed. Yeah. If anything, I trusted you with this because of what we have. I'm sorry if you're disappointed. No, I'm not. I guess I was just, you know, I really did think you were, you were always around. And now I feel like maybe that's asking a lot of you. I think if we pull this off, and if we do it right, we could leave 199 or so individuals still content with new friends, some to find a direction, perhaps, in the way they go through their day to day as they slowly walk towards the days of dust. And I'll have more time to be around you. I like it. All right, then. If Jester has faith in the Traveler, that's good enough for me, I suppose. I agree. I think, to Caduceus's point, you're the story. Huh? Hmm. You're the not wrong. Needs a story. You're the story. Yeah, you are the poster child. He helped you first. He changed your life. Yeah. You're his story. Or more I'll like be the keynote speaker. <laughs> I think it's more than that, but yeah. Keynote speaker. What 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 is what is the story that you'll tell as the? I mean, is you going to do a demonstration of the gifts he's he's given you? Ooh, that could be pretty cool. I'm I mean, not like bad. We, we could. You could make me seem even more powerful than I am. Like Caleb, you can or, do some really cool stuff, right? Or or what if what if you walked into there, just in tattered clothing because you're just a peasant girl with nothing. You're. You're, you're even uh, f- feeble. Your 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 hands don't work, or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I could have no hands. No, no hands. And then, because of the traveler, you can paint amazingly. Or Are something. you saying an organized religious event would fake an individual's rise from a low place to a high one for the purpose of convincing the masses that there is a miracle? Such a thing's never been done. <laughs> Did I just invent that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think that's what you want. I, I agree. Why? Well, you want. story's awesome already. Don't. You can be a cleric of a trickery god, but don't fool them in faith. Tell them the truth. No more and then bladders. fuck with them a little bit, because I mean, that is, yeah, you got I, to. Yeah, after, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, you want. You want storytellers, you want, you want th- showmanship, you want people who will 
create create events, create art, create things that people will see that will confound them. To take this story and then begin to share their own. And you want to show them the truth. Well, a certain truth. They go back to their hometown and they set up a temple and they get followers there. And then those followers get followers and then those followers get followers. That's how you build a religion. They have a word for people who do that already. They're called jesters. What? A trickster who shows the truth. I mean, how did you end up with that name in the first place? Well, I thought it sounded cool. I thought jesters were people that made people laugh. Yeah. You thought it? You chose your name? Well, yeah. Your, your mother did not name you? Well, she did, but she told me I get to choose my own name. What, what was your name used to be? I don't think tieflings, do tiefling get, there's a did thing ever, if I remember. Did you have a name before this? What did your mother call you before, Jester? What was your mother's name? <laughs> for you. For you. For you. Yeah. For you. <laughs> Genevieve. Genevieve? <laughs> Genevieve? <laughs> I mean, perfectly rich. Right. Jenny. Uh, sorry. I like that's lovely. <laughs> I like Jester, okay? Jester. Jeez. It's Can a much better name. Jenny? No. You Jenny. Can call me Jester. Uh, <laughs> Genevieve Lavore? I think the point is that you should be what people aspire to. We shouldn't have to trick people about you. You should be. Uh, Elevated. You should be the success. You are everything a disciple of the traveler should be. No sense to lie about that. Oh, I think you just show who you are on a grand scale, and that which is pretty grand already. Which is serious, you guys. I'm a pretty great right now. It still adds your story, you know, like maybe an evil wizard tried to kill you when you were a baby and the curse rebounded and left a scar on your forehead and... <laughs> no? Okay. Scratch it. No one will bind it. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Maybe. Well, maybe maybe we tell Jester's true story, but it sounds like you, you'll you still need a some something fabricated to to make you disappear or, or fly away or whatever. We have an idea already. I've got a few weeks to workshop it, don't worry. Yeah. I've oh. got to figure this out, man. Okay. Well, while you're here, um, and you seem to have a quite the range of vision, is there anything we should ask about the stones and oh. your particular journey, Caduceus? <laughs> they think you're going to answer things for them. Well, I wouldn't mind a finger pointed in the right direction as that we are about to begin our Hike, but as for information, I, I will tell wouldn't you. be so foolish as to ask you. Tall, pink, furry man. <laughs> he who bows to the winds. Your answer lies there. He points in the direction of the jungle you were traveling already. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. For all that you have done before, I thank you. <laughs> Nevertheless, sorry to intrude upon your breakfast. No. I um get visited by non-gods all the time. <laughs> Where do you go when you're not here? All over. Where are you going next? I think I'm going to visit an old friend. No. That's a story for another time. <laughs> but where I'm going, it's definitely ashy. Only stay for a bit. It's bad on the skin. Anyway, travel safe, friends. Right? He steps back into the doorway where he originally emerged as the tree begins to. Who's on the teleporting council? You hear a distant scream as another falls dead. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> okay, go. All right. So, uh, Jester, what are you doing? Yes. I'm going to try to. Um... I'll spend 10 minutes casting Commune. Okay. 
begrudging. Most inconvenienced cleric. Uh, <laughs> talk to a guy. Caleb's drawing on the ground and just watching him huff. <clears throat> yeah. The sand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as, as you sit, you sit with your sketchbook and you concentrate and focus. And how, how do you call the traveler to you? I can't. Come on, man. I really need to talk to you right now. And I know that you're busy and stuff, but this is dire stuff right here, you know, because this could fuck up everything. There's a soft impact uh, as, as you kind of stop and hear it in front of you and as you look up from your sketchbook, sitting in the sand, maybe like two feet from you, is the Traveler, full cloak, Ooh. hood back, and kind of cross-legged, just kind of sitting right in front of you, eye to eye. Hello, Jester. Hi. Oh, no. What's wrong? You look so... This guy here, he's a real... He's a, he's a dick, man. Like, not in a good way. Like... There's a lot of them out there. You're not wrong. But this guy, like, this whole island is weird. It's like opening... Pool. Look at this waterfall! Have you ever seen anything like that? This doesn't count as a question. The, uh, like, come on. <laughs> you can look back at this. That is quite impressive. I mean, from a mortal standpoint, there are some places in the Fey that are just mind-boggling. We need that to go is... there. On one of these days. Can you take you everyone are welcome there? To... Can we sleep in the Fey Wall? I would prefer not to go back, but you're welcome to go anytime you'd like. I'll just keep my time here as well. But I'm sorry, you, uh, you brought me here for a purpose. Uh, did you have any questions? People lose their memory here. They could be here for two or three days, and then they get stuck here forever. Did you know that could happen? I... I was aware. What a dick. <laughs> like, I understand if, you know, you want to get rid of some of your followers. We talked about it. It's okay, you know? Like, a, a, a few of them could stay, but I, I don't want to stay. You're not going to stay? You want... Oh, Jester, 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 and he reaches out and kind of takes your hand and says, please don't ever think I'm not looking out for your best interests. And I wasn't planning to leave them all here, it was more of a backup plan if things didn't work out well with the Traflacon thing. You have to have a series of layers for something like this. <sighs> oh dear thing, and he reaches out and kind of like puts his thumb on the cheek and says, I I don't mean to put you through this. <laughs> I was never going to abandon you or leave you to this. If things went sideways when we arrived, I would have just plucked you and everyone else of import and... Everyone else, too? Everyone else of import? My friends? Oh, your friends, yes, of course. But let's be honest, there were a few individuals on their way here that were a real pain in my ass. Let me tell you, trying to charter this many ships from the middle of the Menagerie Coast. It's a um, lot. A lot of paperwork. <laughs> yeah. I've been busy. I hate it. <laughs> I hate all of this. I'm excited to be done. But no, I wasn't going to abandon you and your friends. So, do you think we should get rid of this, um, this weird, vulv, greedy guy? Perhaps, if you don't think there's much of a purpose or a way to make him useful, well, then, I mean, what other choice is there? Do you want to fight him? Me? <laughs> I don't fight. I hedge my bets on those who fight for me. Yeah. Okay. You promise. You promise. I am of a... a kind of entity that promises are binding. Makes them dangerous, makes them easy to regret, but binding. And I Promise. Okay. And I'm sorry if you felt abandoned. I 
There's no excuse I can put other than the fact that things are a little crazy right now, and I, <laughs> oh, mortals are a special breed. Hey man, maybe a dragon turtle would take out a couple of the boats on the way here. Well, I don't, I don't want them dead. No, I mean, that would, that would be terrible. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Look, the, pl the plan was if things went wrong, at the very least they'd be left here to live a nice life in a village with some people, you know? Right. They weren't going to be hurt. They just would have forgotten some things. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, they're living a nice life and nobody seems to hate it when right? their memory's gone, but I don't want to do it. And you won't be. It was never even part of this. I should have clarified it, and you're right. I should have been a little more forthright with some of the information. I mean, your but... extra days, you know, like extra time, that's extra risk. Sorry, I don't mean to yell at you. It's all right. I would have come back. Okay. Hey. You want to see something very pretty? Yeah. <laughs> Points up to the moon. And right there on the kind of mostly full surface of Katha, you see the shadows shift slightly and they form these two round googly eyes and a little smile wow. with these two little pointed teeth. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> and you kind of turn your head back and he's gone. Oh, man. Human sacrifices, you know? Oh. And what if like a few people volunteered for that? Maybe one of you guys would be one of the volunteers? You're gonna kill one of us? Listen. Okay. Beth. <laughs> this just got extremely interesting. <gasps> <laughs> As you both shift to go to the source of the voices, you can see in one of the darker corners of the chamber, where kind of the uh, the heavy interior woodwork of the tree that has been kind of carved away, uh, the shadow kind of folds in there. The cloaked figure steps out the hood back with the long, heavy, curling batch of lion mane-like reddish-orange hair. As the traveler, Artagan, steps forward. Terribly sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm just. Uh... <laughs> I had a moment, thought I'd come in and see how things are going on. I run over and I give him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Just, are you excited? I'm excited. Yes! Um, yes! So, did you hear what I was saying about human sacrifice? That's about as much as I got, and I'm okay. very interested to hear how this so is going to work. So we ask people to be a human sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. We take the volunteers, we drag them off to, like, the volcano or something. Ooh. And then... We tell them they have to be separated so we can cleanse them or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> However, you prepare people for sacrifice. I like it. <laughs> and then we alter their memories. Who can do that? Me. Oh, like have you, you done did that before with the witch? Mm. Oh yes. We change their memories, and I bet you can do it too. I've altered a few memories. You're the one who taught me how to do it. So we alter their memories and make them think that they were sacrificed and that they saw they were brought back to life watching you ascend into the heavens. So not just a sacrifice, but this act brought them back to life. Yeah, so we, we can do it two ways. Like what if like, one, we don't actually make them think that they were sacrificed. We could make it be like, um, like, just kidding, You're, you, we just want to see who really loved the Traveler. The As a present for really loving him, you get to see the Ascension. There's that one. Or we can make them think that they really died. Really died, and then because of the Ascension, they were brought back to life. Yeah, because he's so powerful. Uh. And then they go back and they're like really believing it, so then they tell everybody that they watched him ascend. Uh. I, I, I love it. That's great stagecraft, and it's really it's I, I, excellent production value. It works. I, I will say, as a, as someone who has dabbled uh, religiously, um, the human sacrifice angle sets a dangerous precedent. I suppose would be the. I mean, uh, is this just going to become a thing that other people do? Well, I thought that you know, I just figured that might be something that was needed for ascending. This is an interesting point, though. Actually, we are dealing with individuals and in faith, and um, we have a very different connection than I'm, most divinity does. And while I don't particularly uh, ascribe to all the ideals of your mistress, that's fair. You do have quite a bit of 
experience with the fanaticals. So maybe you'd be a right partner for this planning endeavor. Would you be interested? I mean, while I'm, I'm obviously not a believer, I am here to help. There's, there's room for a lot at the table. Wonderful, you two work together then. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> Um, if I may, um, just a, just a few things. Um, I, 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 uh, the the people who um, we get to sacrifice themselves, or, or, or however whatever, we do it, if a human thing. sacrifice is not the way. We can figure something out. I love the idea. Just <laughs> just a, just a heads up. They may be considered, you know, like prophets or something afterwards, mm-hmm. and, and they mm-hmm. they may be praised themselves. Is that okay with with you with both? Have you, you? ever met anyone who thinks? The, that they came back from the dead. Remember Molly? He was insufferable. God, the ego. <laughs> I'm just saying, we could be creating ego. Did you just say, do you remember Molly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, don't no, like, like, do you remember Molly? But like, do you remember, you know, yeah, it was like his shitty ago. disposition? <laughs> <laughs> was it? How long ago was it? Hmm? Ish. It's Ish. been. Uh, 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 Almost half a year. Oh, Six well. months. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but like, we do 20, remember 20, Molly. Yeah. A long time. Uh, a number of months, yeah. at least. A number of months, at least. <laughs> so maybe it's just like you know. No, no I think they don't fine. actually think that they died. Maybe it's a uh, you know they 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 got the blessing because they were so devoted. Mm. No, that, I think it's great though, but you know what I really like about that plan, if I may, and the only reason I'm speaking with any authority at all is once in Felderwin, uh, I went to see a play um, uh, and it was it was called Peter Fawn and it was, um, <laughs> And and so there was lots of there was lots of uh, stagecraft and stuff. But at the at the end, towards the end of the play, they did this thing where there was a fae creature, a little fae pixie creature, mm. who had died. And they were like, everyone in the audience needs wow. to clap to put to bring the fae creature back to life <laughs> yeah, again, right? And so the mm. audience participating in the event made you really feel for that character oh, so wow. much. So what I'm saying is, strangely, that is an actual ritual that works. Oh wow! It's based in fact. That was Believe it or not. Documentary. Not that I've seen it, I oh, hate no. the theater. Go on. You hate the theater? Shh, continue. You're an asshole. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was just going to say, the audience doing something to make this ascension happen would get them even more, That's you know, true. emotionally invested in it. Mm. So, like, oh. if they were like, they all had to bang on drums, or that's amazing. Yeah. Maybe during the week you said something like, "We should all give them a fun activity." Maybe it's making their drumstick or something. And like they all they, look like dicks. Yes, and then at the end of the week they all beat their dicks. As hard as Wait, they can. Didn't you carve some? <laughs> Just beat that yeah, dick as hard as you can. And make that'll, that'll, penis <laughs> and that'll, make, that'll make the travel just shoot up. <laughs> uh, interesting idea. You're not wrong on that. What if, what if they pray, beat, whatever, too hard and it destroys me? <gasps> then it's not my fault, it's on them. They're left with the guilt, and I'm home free. Well, oh, I like it. And we beat a what? dick so hard that it can kill someone. It'll make you go blind. I've heard of dicks falling off. <laughs> wow. They had to be like really infected, like almost like. But Wait, they've it, fallen off. Oh, hang on, though. Why? Yeah. Why that choice? Why like uh, leave them with? You know, prolonged and insufferable guilt for something that they didn't actually do when it could be like spun a little bit more positively. Yeah, well, they have you to know give what? Them a big, yeah. travel a big event, a big party, and if it does not reach the the the, the climax that they were hoping for, then uh, they they have to redouble their efforts and continue their faith and try harder. No, no, into the no. Future. I like it better if the traveler dies. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I'm not actually going yeah, to Yeah, I know. But. I like it better that way because then then they can move on to another god and they're not trapped forever believing in something that's not going to, to help them. Okay, I can get behind that. Right. But maybe we sidestep the it's their fault thing? Yes. I, I suppose so, yes. Oh, well, if yeah, it's, sure. If, it's a, if it was something that, like, it's a, an, an, an ecstatic death, like, he, uh, like mm. he is obliterated so that he can Go forth into the heavens, never to be seen again, and that's something that he wanted. I don't you know. did say worship something else. Is there a way to like pass the divine buck? Even? Sure. I mean, what if we said like, oh my gosh, you know what? The traveler uh, has been like super buddy buddy with I don't know the Wild Moon Mother Wheel. or something. 
the in the moon weaver or something and <gasps> and the travelers now telling you like oh you should worship this other person because hmm. they're like best friends or something Interesting. Like you endorse another <coughs> god or something. Uh -huh. and, yeah, an endorsement. Uh -huh. just, just to be clear, though, huh. and it seems like this ship has sailed, but there isn't any chance you would want to actually try to be the thing these people think that you are. God, no, there's way too much responsibility. Okay. Su surprised Look, I, that there's so much responsibility for what is essentially a chaos religion. Trust me, at a certain point, it just becomes untenable. <laughs> I want to do my things. Not their things. Yeah. Out of curiosity, what are your things? Uh, it'll just help creatively. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pre-interview? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I don't take you to be a creature of the whim. Thank you. That's not all that I am. <laughs> Nothing but whim. Whimsy, if you will. Whimsy, but, I like whimsy. But in the sense that it's whatever I want to do, whenever, and I do not want anybody else to tell me not to do it. Is there anything you just don't like to do, or? Other than the theater. Um, there needs to be a fun element of it, which means a bit of misery to those that probably deserve it, and a bit of laughter for those that don't. Moonweaver. <clears throat> the Moonweaver. <clears throat> so you like to get your hands on life and just squeeze it for all it's worth. Oh, <laughs> continuously. Mm. In fact, there was this, no, um, another time. <laughs> If I may, but, have you made yourself as available um, to these people that are arriving as you have to Jester over time? Oh dear me, no. I think, and it is not your fault at all, my dear, but you've spoiled me. I assumed it would be the same experience elsewhere, but you're one of a kind. Most everyone else in this world is, well, dreary, boring, progressively selfish, and There's a bitch out there. Which one? What? Like, uh, what was her name? Celia? Celia, yes. <laughs> uh, she found one of your uh, pamphlets, actually. <gasps> she did? Yes, passing oh, through. Yeah. Oh, they work. Oh, well, sorry about that, but. <laughs> it's all right. Look, she's a bit of a bitch, but <laughs> that cruelty makes for some fun pranks on occasion. Oh, I bet she does some really mean ones, huh? Yes, maybe not always to the right targets, but she's learning. Mm. Well, she's one of the ones I'd like to possibly. Yeah. Well, then maybe that's the goal is to remove you from the equation, but see if we can keep everyone practicing what seems to be giving them a sense of joy and completion. It certainly gives you a sense of joy and completion to be going around and spreading a little dissonance and chaos. Chaos, and chaos works well. Uh, and uh, frivolity, I guess, I don't know. The best way I can describe it is it's I've grown bored with having a religion, or a cult, as some have said. I'm more interested in like an exclusive club. <laughs> Handful of chosen individuals. Look at cards and everything, it's wonderful. Ooh. Sure, but just to like set them free to do their own thing, and especially if their own thing is kind of what they were doing already. Yeah, and if what they're doing is fun and they want me to come help, maybe I'll stay for some fun. Yeah, we can keep you out of it if you like. Caduceus, what does the Moonweaver look like, generally? Yeah, please do tell me. You keep talking about this Moonweaver. I'm not very up to speed well, I'm with not. some of your um Mostly dogs. what I know about the Moonweaver is because we have a few followers of the Moonweaver in the back home, uh, in the ground, obviously. Uh, from what I remember from the few times that we've had to run it, it's uh, not chaos, necessarily, but uh, some trickstery-ish stuff, a little bit of uh, light-hearted uh, uh, disguise and silliness, uh, a little bit of, uh, oh man, this has been a while. Well, I, I'm I, familiar with the Moonweaver, I'm just seeing what your information is. Oh, you. I was what is the Moonweaver like? Uh, some similar ideas of trickery, though they're... A little more low-key? Uh, they're a little more, I don't know, esoteric and mysterious. I like to be a little more present. Could kind of make a, a bit of a uh, heavier subset of that, if you if you know what I mean. Kind of a yes, a little bit of more chaos, less uh, less uh, illusion. I'm surprised you're interested in passing followers off to someone who isn't your purview. I mean, we 
there's room for a lot in this in this world, and if you have a if you have a whole planet of carpenters, then nothing ever gets done. You need a bit of everything, and uh, we're fine. That's a rare mindset in religion these days. I respect oh. that. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I was only wondering if um, if we are doing this handoff to the Moonweaver, it might help, only because our means are limited. If you had the ability to, I don't know, create some sort of grand show as the Moonweaver and officially usher them over, maybe not appearing as yourself, but as this deity, then it might help move things along. Or <sighs> the Moonweaver. See, deities are very, well, sometimes vain creatures that don't enjoy being made fun of in grandiose falsehoods and displays of ridiculousness. In fact, it quite makes them frustrated. So I love this idea. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do? Be frustrated that we shun some more I know, followers that way? They'll be fine. We're people to worship her like she can be that pissed, right? <laughs> I like it. That's way better than my human sacrifice. And we're planning to frame this. Oh wait, we're losing the sacrifice element. <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't have to. I think we, it's probably for the best. Uh, it just leads to. What if we just said like, oh, I need sacrifices to be skinned, but you stay alive or something? People are gonna Whoa. to be skinned. Whoa. Holy shit! I don't Jesper. know. Skin? That feels darker than actually. It, is it? it? But, yeah. but, but we can explore the idea. Don't throw any ideas off the table yet until yeah, we've had a full yeah, discussion. Off the table. Okay. What if we? What if? What if you just needed one human sacrifice or, or sacrifice, and. Um, it's an audience. I also saw a magic show once, and they had an audience plant. Uh -huh. um, what if it's someone who raises her hand and is like, "I'll volunteer," and this this lovely woman uh, walks out and volunteers to be the human sacrifice, and is brought, you know, into the lava pit or whatever, and then all of a sudden, wings sprout out of her, and she shoots up into the sky like it was amazing, like it was planned or something. I don't know. <laughs> I. I mean, okay. I could, but I feel, I feel like these are still so so new, and and I feel like I I I don't want to betray the Storm Lord in any way. Oh, oh right. right. You know, that's true. What if like you you brought a bunch of followers to the Moonweaver, and then he was like, "Fuck it you!" And taking the wings back. Yeah, and I, I just want to say, you know, putting the, the the human sacrifice thing. You know, you do it once. And it goes on the calendar, and then there's going to be like a human sacrifice anniversary holiday. And they'll keep and then, it. And they'll keep doing it, and then yes. 20 years, okay. and like uh, Vokodo or, or Rumble Cusp is known for its cannibalism okay, okay, and human okay. sacrifice. That's you know what? That's I fair. think you're right. One Punch Girl and Mr. Prey Man over there probably have a better <laughs> idea about this than I expect. I mean, <laughs> no sacrifice. I, I was like, literally descend, the descendant of people who buried a head somewhere, and this is sort of how we ended up where we are. Oh, right. How about this? How about this? How about this? Who's okay, 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 no, okay, there's okay, no okay, bad okay. ideas. There's no, no bad ideas. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Pitch us okay. again. Okay, 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 okay. Because we do want them to <laughs> give of themselves somehow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if it's not sacrifice? What if it's not killing, bloodletting, any of that stuff? What if it's like a 24 hour sweat lodge sort of like, like it. fasting? Like dance off. Da yeah, a 24 hour dance party, a 48 hour dance party people where people beat are their Everybody has to dance. And dropping and dropping. And can they make it? Can they make it? Yeah. Yeah. Dance for your life. Someone will. And, and that person will sort of initiate the rites of ascension by. Oh no, by we're doing oh. Midsummer again. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> what, if, all, yeah. what if we take all of the dick statues that they made for you, mm. and instead of giving them away as party favors, we hide them all around the village? Dick hunt. And you go on a dick hunt. Oh, and then, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once all the dicks are found, <laughs> uh -huh. then that's the tr that triggers the ascension. Uh. Sure. What uh. if they they find the dicks and then they have to do a pilgrimage up the mountain to the volcano and they have to toss their dick in the volcano? <sighs> That's really good. I'm not going to lie. This has already unlocked a beautiful possible benefit, the design of this entire divinity thing. Imagine if hundreds of years from now, Sehanin himself, out of their control, has had to absorb some sort of a dick festival into their warship, starting with this island. <laughs> the Moonweaver's religion entirely altered. I love this plan. 
<laughs> dick sect. How, yes. how do you? How do you what? How do you feel about a human avatar, or like a chosen one? You could always just pass a cloak onto that one, and then it would become. I don't know if you want that kind of responsibility for being a like oh. high priest. An avatar of, a, of the of, of a god that's wandered off. Well, I mean. I'm not opposed to it, becoming like a high priestess, but. Like a prophet, like a, like a. The prophet of the traveler? Yeah. But I would be basically, anybody that came to me, I'd be like, the traveler's really cool, worship the Moonweaver? <laughs> and leave them questioning everything. Yeah. I mean, it, there's upsides. On yeah, brand. Yeah. But also, every single person trying to connect with the traveler would then come to you. How would they Find me. We travel around so much. Don't you just send messages to some people anywhere they are at any time? <laughs> well, yeah. Seems like it might be easy for other people to do it. To find you. Yeah. There are quite a few people here who I've taught the same thing to. Oh no. Oh, boy. Why do you teach other people the cool stuff? Not every. That was, I didn't realize that was such an exclusive it's, gift. My oh apologies. Oh my god. It's. <laughs> The best. It's so much fun. I can take it away too. No. This is my yeah, take it from them. Like, right. don't take it from Done. me. Oh. <laughs> Did you really just take it away from yeah. me? Yeah. Somebody got their collect call hung up on. <laughs> Hello? It's that easy. Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> that felt really good. Not, but like, you know, I feel bad for them, but I feel oh, good no. in myself. Oh, no. So, what is the plan? <laughs> We're making, taking, we're making a stage. We're making a stage. We're killing everyone. We're going to. Th we'll have Yasha play music. It'll be a big concert when everybody gets here. It'll yeah, be yeah, a big yeah. Show. Are we going to have them make drumsticks during the week? Is that a Why thing? Why not? Okay. We can have okay. them make their own. We'll hide all of the dicks around the island, like around the the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should yeah. do that a, like party, today. I understand, and dick drumming it makes sense. But <laughs> then, what? Did, how do you segue into freeing him from? His uh, fetters. Well, we have to, you know, everybody throws their dick into the volcano or something. Yeah. And then, and then you guys use your your big illusions or whatever. Sure, sure. And make it yeah. seem like, uh, like the the traveler, like, like maybe you can make it. Oh, maybe you can look, make it look like big green flames come out of the volcano all of a sudden. Okay. And then you. Oh. The traveler, you look like the moon weaver, and you fly down, and you're like, "Hey, I'm attracted to this green flag." I don't fucking know. Or you know. can fly up into the moon. The green. Eventually, I figured that'd probably be the most likely. Oh yeah, or the you are. Yeah, yeah, that. Or so an, that. Ev an evening celebration may have to be important. It's rather difficult to see either of the moons during the midday period, and well. Mm. We, I guess we don't have extreme. to like actually go to the volcano. We can just have everybody throw their dicks into a fire. Or something. No, 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 no. The no. volcano seems so, like, the volcano right. It seems like a big yeah. thing. Yeah, right? you want a big set you want piece it here. to be an event. And uh, Caleb uh, pulls out a bit of fleece and uh, casts a major image and like a uh, an illusion of the volcano in amber, of course, hovering you know like a model in front of us, and there are little. Um, arches, four of them floating around the top, and green flame coming out of the amber volcano. A light show, Jester, is not a problem. Uh, we can make this place look like anything you wanted to, but I still don't understand the the messaging. Mm. I suppose. Mm. The... Mm -hmm. Well, if we see the traveler ascend, then then, oh. and the high priestess can sort of ascribe any sort of meaning to it that she wants. Oh Indeed, you would. The mouthpiece of the Moonweaver, that's what you would be. I mean, the traveler's the voice of the traveler. She is blue, that definitely. Maybe, um, Indeed. you know, in order to pass on, you know that your time as a deity has come, and in order to pass on, you have to have, the, you know, everyone do the dick trials. And, and then that's so the wait. final. Thing. Oh, oh, there's a bit of confusion here on my point as well. Just a uh, bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, not that hard. Is it that the traveler has secretly been the Moonweaver this entire time, <gasps> oh, or is it that the like traveler that. has decided to just give up to the Moonweaver? Like, I, I, let's clarify the narrative here. I don't want <laughs> us to cross just, wires just, in the middle of this. Let's, be just, yeah, let's just say the Moonweaver the whole time. That's easier. All right. Let's say the Moonweaver has actually been helping us out the whole time, 
and it's all been like a big trick. Oh, ha, 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 just oh. kidding, yeah, yeah. you're the moon weaver. Perhaps the message here is like, oh, you thought it was uh, the Angel of Ions, but surprise, buddy, it's actually the Chained Oblivion. Yeah. Oh. Oh. My apologies. Yeah. Uh, there's an issue with the ship dealing with some sort of a turtle thing. Um, I'll oh. be back shortly. Workshop it a bit. Uh, I'll check in in a few I think days. We're almost there. We're, we're all, oh, okay. Shh. No, Purdy, we said hi. Did he say he has to go do some turtling? I kind of taking in the space around you, the anxiety kind of building in, in your chest a little bit. Uh, a couple of footsteps arise, and a familiar red haired figure kind of saunters up and goes, Well, I have to say, this is rather impressive. Huh? Are you going to let everyone know you're here, or? No, no, I'm keeping a low profile. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> uh, what was the phrase again? Uh, let chaos, let chaos, chaos rain. rain. Let chaos rain. Let chaos rain. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see me that way. Zipun just kind of waves and goes walking. This is, uh... well, no one's ever seen you the way you actually are? Well, um. Only you're seeing my true form. I'm putting a glamour up for everybody else. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Caribbean. Those people are killing each other over the other side of the square. <laughs> my fighting pit is working. Those numbers are going down. You're that pleased. was inspired. I'm excited to see what comes out of that. <laughs> um, so what's the point of plan? We have most everyone here, a couple of stragglers coming in tonight. Right, right. I've guided most all of the ducks to the event, and I am beyond excited and extremely proud, Jester. I'm so glad. Well, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Indeed. See indeed. how proud you are then. Um, so tomorrow, I figure, you know, we'll start the day off with a big musical concert, you know, get An everybody gathered ceremony. in the square. Right, right. Oh my god, are you going to do a keynote speech? Yeah, I'll announce the dick hunt. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, are people in the craft area, are they, are they Beating the, are they carving their they're dicks? Carving Have the, we been uh, doing that this whole time? Oh yeah, no, there, there are plenty of dicks away. being carved. There are whole families that are over there doing <laughs> it as a communal event. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, there's a sign out front that just says, come whittle dicks. <laughs> <laughs> a little how-to. Come, come whittle dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. Jesus, but yeah. this is totally a kid show. <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> Family fun. Man. Well, my responsibilities shall come to a close tonight. With all of them being shepherded here, I have done my part until tomorrow's performance. Then, when that is done, they'll be free, and we'll be free. Just me and you? You and me. I love it. A couple of other people, but. No, fuck them. But you're my favorite. Okay, good. Are you all ready? Yeah, 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 we're yeah, all man. whatever. Fueled up on dinosaur meat and ready to go. Yeah. Mm. All right. I guess I should show my appreciation for all the work you've done, both in being friends and aides to Jester and her journeys and personal growth, and to helping myself with this endeavor. I can gather that not all of you are fans of me, and that's fine. I get it. If you are, but nevertheless, I'm appreciative. You all have cloaks, right? Cloaks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I make we, cloaks for everybody. Yeah, yeah, um, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well. Very well. Well, thank you. Do you need anything of me this evening? Um, can I talk to you for just a second? Of course. Can we? Walk away. <laughs> I love that you guys actually riot. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Mm. See you all around. And kind of walks with you into the village. Oh. Well. Unless you know my privacy. No, no, no. I mean, this is fine. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I just. It's all kind of built up to this day and. I just want to tell you how glad I am that you're here and and that I'm proud of you. I know that you know you're saying you are just bored of having everybody worship you, but I think it's really great that you're kind of 
letting everyone move on. <laughs> I would say reserve such. And don't get me wrong, I'm very appreciative of your appreciation. Uh, I, I do have a weak spot for uh, flattery. You're not wrong. But, I mean, as much as I've guided you through the years, don't think you haven't guided me. And this is an example of that as well. I'm happy to have found a path, but truth be told, maybe I needed a bit of guidance myself. I'm a selfish creature by nature. <laughs> and I love that about you. Well, I've watched you grow up into something Quite impactful. You tend to change those around you for the better. Well, those that matter anyway. The others you leave screaming and kicking and extremely <laughs> confused, which is how, in my opinion, the best interactions should end. You taught me well. <laughs> well, this isn't an end of anything necessarily, this is a new beginning. We've been you have been partners for a very long time. Look how much you've done without me. Right? Yeah. And look how much of a mess I made without you. <laughs> yeah. Just know that I'm always around to the best of my ability. I know, and I believe you. But whatever strength I've been giving you has just been more of a, a boost. Because believe me, I've given similar gifts to many of these people, and <laughs> I'll look at them. As you glance around, you see a bunch of drunken buffoons and people that are, uh, I mean, not, they're all messes in the same way that all of you are messes, but they, I don't know, they lack more of a, Real purpose, at least in the moment that he's, you know, showing them in the throes of a celebration in a party, which maybe isn't the best example, but <laughs> not everyone takes the freedom and the guidance that I offer, and I don't know, twist the world with it the right way. There's too much stuffiness, too much self-aggrandizing. It seems that mortality leads people to um, feel like they're rushing to some end. Yeah, it does. Maybe you should make me immortal. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh so hard. This is quite funny to me. <laughs> but no. Very few individuals know how to pull the rug out from under the world around them and still leave them smiling. That's what I want. I don't want to hurt anyone, not intentionally. And those that I do hurt, well, I do feel a little bad. See? But doesn't tragedy You're build growing. character? Doesn't tragedy build character? It does, it does, but still, when we first met, you didn't ever feel bad. I still don't feel bad most of the time, <laughs> but you've grown on me, you're not wrong. Artie? Yes? You're my best friend. And no matter what, you always will be. For now. Mm hmm. Can I grab both sides of his face? Sure. I'm gonna lean in like I'm gonna kiss him. He looks a bit confused. I'm gonna bite his nose. <laughs> As it happens, he's like, mm, pulls back a bit. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell is that? He looks over your shoulder, extremely worried. Hmm. All right. He's gone. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> you take a step and he kicks the back of your knee out from <laughs> under you. <laughs> it's the back. Uh, What's that? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> the asshole Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta turn around. I've lived a very long time. I've made many friends and lost many friends. So I don't expect things to always last. With the time that I have, I've learned to appreciate it. The temporary things. I mean, there's a good chance that even I'm not as eternal as I believe. When things are temporary, and you know it and you understand it, you truly savor it. So even we might be temporary. So let us appreciate the time we have. Okay. Now I'm going to have a drink. Do it. Revel with these idiots for the last time. He wants and saunters off into the crowd, which is weird from your perspective because they all worship him and he just walks in the middle, but they all treat him just like another one of the people there because they do not see the traveler. And kind of spreading out in this larger shelf where it'd be the easiest place for that many people to gather safely. Okay. Um, so what's the plan, Artie? <clears throat> like, are we waiting till the last person has thrown it in before we give the big reveal? I would imagine so, otherwise what? they're just left holding <laughs> their dicks in their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be you? Are you going to do it? Well, Are you going to like turn into her? Uh, I, I'm planning to, yes. Okay, okay, okay. But, but, but like, this should be like a, like a performance, a presentation before. Oh, yeah. Uh, you and we can speak back and forth, just kind of riffing off of each other. I love it. Oh. You begin the introduction, I'll begin to speak, and we'll just kind of throw it back and forth and see where it takes us. I love this. All right, all right, I'm excited. <laughs> all right. Welcome, one and all. And your voice carries. It, it, there, there is an enhancement, like thaumaturgy gives you a little bit of volume, but this, as you speak, and you guys catch up on this, Jester's voice is omnipresent. It seems to almost erupt from the very rock you're standing on around you. It is pretty cool, as she'd say. <laughs> <laughs> the Traveler, as you can see, is pleased. If you would one at a time, you last, Blondie, come up and throw your recently procured dicks into the volcano so that our ceremony may commence. Indeed. With each gift of these finely crafted instruments, the volcano symbolizes the destruction of things not yours, and reborn into. I'm having a hard time. Um, this one. Um, what do the dicks the, represent? The dicks represent. <coughs> we should have gone over this. Uh, That's my fault for not asking. No, it's okay. The dicks represent <laughs> our tie to this material world. Mm. What we hold dear here on it's Alexandria. Alexandria, yes. What we hold dear. <laughs> By giving up your dick. To the volcano, you are showing your commitment to helping the traveler attain his greatness. And let's be honest, how many of you are from the Dwendalian Empire? A number of hands raised. <laughs> <Right? laughs> Woot. <laughs> Down with the patriarchy. <laughs> okay, 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 let's get it started. All right, all right. First stick. You, come on up here, throw it in. Everyone kind of like, oh, one by one, they all just kind of like confuse, start ascending this is the, the pathway. the message here. Yeah. <laughs> so confused. So, are, so is he. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. One by one, people start taking it in the lobby, and some people, like, they throw it and it doesn't quite go far enough, they have to, like, rush up and pick it up again and throw <laughs> again. It's, and because it's one by one, every person takes from the climb to the throw to the exit roughly a minute or so, so you're there for, like, two more hours. Oh my god. That's one by one, in, in silence. All right, 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 it's great too because there's like an arc and then a little. <laughs> 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 uh, All right, the, we got the, everyone. Celia, yeah, you got the, your the, golden dick. The traveler starts like just doing this with his finger, and you start hearing music playing, like just like fine violin music. Like, yes, yes. Joy be unto all of you. Come, come, throw, 
throw your your previous uh, connections to this mortal world into the fire and be reborn in the light of the traveler, the yes. light of tonight's moon. This is the big moon above. Moon above, yes. This tricky, tricky moon. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly it dwindles down to the final moment until until it is until it is just Celia there Come at the on, end. Come on, Celia, we're waiting for you. Speech, speech. <laughs> Indeed, the the winner, the one who found the oh. golden phallus, granted by upon the high priestess herself, the glory Your of growing. Your favorite, my voice carries. Your favorite, my favorite. The High Priestess gifted upon this one, the Golden Phallus. Now, please, step forth and show us all how it is done, Celia. And she kind of looks over. I'm all right, I'll, I'll, <laughs> there's been plenty of dicks thrown tonight. I'll just, um. Come on, the... Celia, we got to finish the, we got to finish the ceremony. This is important, come on. <laughs> <laughs> she steps up in her, Finely tailored leather boots Throw and her little waistcoat. Throw that dick! Throw that dick! She approaches the edge, her, uh, <laughs> her like kind of shorter blonde hair kind of pushed over to one side. The wind that's picking up the hot wind from inside the volcano caldera kind of pushing it against her sweaty face, the kind of under orange light glow. She kind of her eyes look over somewhat nervously towards the, the traveler and he goes, Trust. In me, child. And she nods and smiles, and with her other hand kind of wipes the air from her face and goes, of, Okay, am I watching Of this? course, you are. I can read their lips, because mm -hmm. I've got to observe it? Yes. Okay, mm. I'm going to start just moving my way closer. Okay. Okay. She goes, you're right. I trust you. There's a silence and a hush. She looks down at the Golden phallus in her palm, clutches it with finality, clenches her jaw, Chester. and goes into a run Chester. towards no, the no, no. Of, of the volcano. I run! I run! I'm gonna fucking tackle her! <laughs> I, I start making a run for it. What? Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Bo! You're protecting me! Okay. <laughs> okay. As she begins running towards the edge of the volcano with the golden phallus in her hand, <laughs> you and Yasha, who are very fast, rush up and just both make athletics checks for me, please. My person is safety. You gotta kill her. Because <laughs> you're going to dick to her hand. Gun, gun, gun! Is she jumping in? Is she jumping? No, That's she's, not jumping she's getting in. a running start to she's throw. To throw the but go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I rolled a natural 18. Okay. So 11. 26. So she put, she like hustles past you and then shoot her, shoot her. Then, boom, boom, gets tackled <laughs> into the rock by Beauregard, and everyone's like, whoa, oh, oh, and the crowd are all watching. Tackle. Yep. Just watch. Just <laughs> Decleaner. <clears throat> She's on the ground coughing. <clears throat> Oh, what you fucking jump? What are you doing? Oh, what happened? You what shut up! Shut up! Are you gonna jump? No, what are you gonna what, what the fuck is what's your deal? Oh. I was doing what everyone else was doing. Oh, she's the final dick. It's important. I'm the final dick. <sighs> Don't throw yourself into the volcano, okay? You weren't gonna throw it. Don't fall. Don't do that. No. And if you fucking fuck with the new shit, her face like <laughs> scraped up on one side where she hit the volcanic rock when she fell. Okay, I might have, I might have misinterpreted your accent. <laughs> I thought she was gonna run and jump in. I was like, I'll fly in and grab her. It's fair. <laughs> okay, do your thing. <laughs> I let it go. <laughs> Again, oh and God. from out of nowhere, green curtains just close <laughs> in front of them. As you help her back up, I help her back up. She's like, she's like scrapes. 
pulls away, <laughs> steps back to where she started. <laughs> Sorry. Throw. Sorry. Look. Throw. Why was she throw. 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 She runs throw again. That thing. <laughs> Poor girl. Throws. Forget her again. And it doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> and she tries again and it doesn't go. Celia, she tries again the and again. <laughs> And again, and at this point, like all the energy is deflated out of the moment. This is such a 2020 <laughs> mood. <laughs> and she looks back at the traveler and he goes, Gotcha. I'm, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk up to Celia and pat her on the shoulder and say, I hope you enjoy your present. It will last you for your entire life. <laughs> and she just storms down the ramp. Oh my God. In your direction. We have all made an enemy that will kill what? us all tonight. <laughs> huh? This will be the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> the girl with the golden Go dick. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Forever. <laughs> the best Bond villain. Cynthia Bond Dick Fingers. <laughs> How appropriate to consecrate this event with a great Prank! Exactly. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Everyone, now at that, everyone just yeah, starts cheering loudly oh. as Celia just pushes through the crowd and makes her way down the mountain alone oh. with Trudeau like, catching up Sorry. to her. Can you make it look like green fighters coming out of the volcano? Oh, yeah. Behind us? Uh, major image, green fire behind us coming out of the volcano. Yeah. And as the fire grows, I say, now is the moment that you've all been waiting for, where the Traveler will show us what he truly is, who he truly can be because of all of your commitment. The rock quakes for just a moment, and the Traveler stands there, puts his arms out, and he reaches up and pulls the hood back. As the shadows unveil, you see this kind of fair, somewhat sky blue skin. This pale white hair that tumbles past the shoulders. And as the cloak falls away, you can see beneath these beautiful robes on a feminine form. The voice emerges once more, but is different than the travelers. My apologies. But this was the only way to guide you all to the right path. The Traveler is but one aspect of myself. Right? Yeah, I'm going to take off my cloak and bow next to her and take her hand. I've guided you all here, for I wished you all to be the first to know that a new avatar to the Moonweaver, Sehanin, walks amongst you and has guided you all to find each other, to find community in the light of the moon. And gestures up towards the illusion, and everyone kind of looks up towards it. Oh. <laughs> I'll stand up next to her. You, you are the chosen few. The Moonweaver has found us to lead her new sect. How special you are. All of you, all of you are my chosen. And all that I ask is that you give your lives of prayer and piety to the night sky. Forever. Let chaos reign. Yes, let chaos <laughs> reign. Let chaos reign. Let chaos, chaos reign. Rain. 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 Mm. Why don't you just tell us at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> because indeed, as the goddess of trickery, is it not the greatest trick to have convinced you I was something else? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, true. Yeah, what what is he? She's oh, good. You're yeah. a real boo. That's right, right. shut up, Stan. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't. Stan. Jesus, Stan, God, come on. But it is here that I wanted you all to find each other and know that even if I cannot be here for all of you, 
I will always be watching in the night sky. At that moment, the moon illusion vanishes. <laughs> uh oh. The clouds kind of off to the side begin to part. Oh no. <laughs> and you see a full white moon behind where the clouds separate, where there shouldn't be one. Everyone goes, oh, wow. Got chicken! <laughs> you, see, you watch as the traveler kind of looks at you and goes, I didn't do that. What is this? What? I didn't do that. What? I didn't. Indeed. Oh, oh, shit. A great, and you see as these beams of moonlight cascade down past the open parting of the clouds, these gossamer silver strings, almost like beams. That turn into white chains and shh, rush towards the traveler, no. wrapping around. Can I hold on to him? Yeah, you go ahead and grab on. Oh, Jester. Oh, this. My ascension is at hand. I. What is happening? What is happening? What's happening? Uh, Stop uh. it! You see a shape begin to descend, and you see these white wings. Use the hand. And you see a feminine figure of blue skin, um, angelic in visage, um, silver hair, but kind of in a uh, kind of a long mohawk that drifts behind, and these flowing robes, blue skin, very reminiscent of the symbols and the the descriptors of aspects of the Moonweaver, Sehenin herself, flies down. Sword at one side, whip on the other, and as the hands extended, this feminine form's voice shakes out louder than yours, and the travelers combined around the top of this mountain and says, "This being speaks in absolute falsehoods. It does not represent the Moon Weaver or any of her divine children. Misdirection." And bold lies hold different sides to a mortal and moral coin. This one lies and has lied to you all for some time, it would seem. As it descends, the white chains wrapped around, you watch as the visage begins to vanish of the Moonweaver and now back to the tangled orange-red hair of the Traveler. I have done nothing of the kind. I've been very upfront with these people. I was trying to do you a f the chains now. Shh, wrap around his mouth. You see him struggling. Please. You've never seen the traveler this helpless before. Please, please. Um, he, he, he was just bringing you some new followers, is all. This one, known as Artagan, is a wily renegade having fled from his binds before. While she can appreciate trickery, she will not stand for terror done in her name. You watch as the chains tighten, and he begins to be pulled up into the air towards this entity. He will be dragged back to the Fey where he once came, and will deal with his transgressions there as was intended by his brethren. As you all stand at the edge of Rumble Cusp, looking at these kind of white pearlescent chains that wrap around both the body and the mouth of the Traveler, in his true form revealed, dragging him up towards this celestial being that is descended from a, a nonsensically apparated moon in the sky, calling him for his lies amongst the populace of followers there. What do you wish to do? Can I grab onto his feet as he's being pulled away? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to hold onto his feet. Okay. You feel your feet lift off. Just and You are now Jester. dangling. No. no. Uh, I will throw Cat's eye out and, and grab a hold of Jester's legs yeah. with the, the cat's hand. Okay. Go ahead and make an arcana check for me. Uh, this would be, actually, sorry, not arcana. This would be. Uh, D20 plus your intelligence modifier. Uh, 27. 27. Uh, Jester, are you going to let go? 20, 20, sorry, intelligence modifier? Yes. I got that wrong. Uh, 
23. 23, okay. Um, as you're clutching onto the legs of the Traveler, lifting up off the ground, you feel your body now clutched by, and you don't even know what it is at the moment, but something is holding you back, and it's holding you intently. Do you continue to hold onto the Traveler? Or yeah. Do you let go? Okay, the chains become taut. Am I still nearby from where I tackled Blondie? I mean, you're nearby. Jester's about 10 feet up in the air, yeah. Can I move over to Jester? Uh, you can move under her and like leap up to climb her, but she's currently grappled by under her. Cat's claw. Okay, move under her. I'm, uh, I'm also going to cast True Seeing. So. Okay. Um, the Celestial being hand out goes, do not grab on. Leave this creature to its fate. Please, no. You watch as it flicks a hand, and what level is your? Um, what level is the spell? Yes. It Cat's is, uh, is it third level. Fifth. Fifth level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. The 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 cat's hand <gasps> is dispelled and vanishes, and the chains begin to continue to pull him up away. Jester's now fifteen. 20 feet up as the creature is just pupilless, these shimmering white glowing eyes against the blue skin, the you know, kind of puffed long white silver mohawk, the wings. I'm just shouting up to the, the creature like, please just, you know, you don't have to take him, just let him go, he's, he's real nice, he, he's really sorry for what he did, um, but we think that the Moonweaver's super great and stuff. As you're still being dragged up, the crowd is just silent and still as you all are kind of looking up. Uh, you're casting True Sing. You do yep. s you do see this this entity. Um, its form does not change with the True Sing, but there is a magnificent glow around them. There is this this entity has been entrusted with quite a bit of divine power. That is. When the true scene goes off, it, it, you have to kind of squint almost. It's and very bright. Nothing weird with the Traveler right now. Nothing weird with the Traveler. All right. Beyond just being diminished ever so slightly. We are in over our heads. I'm going to move to stand under Jester, just in case. Okay. Uh, Jester is now about 30 or so feet off the ground as the chains kind of slowly begin to tow uh, both the Traveler and her up towards this moon, and the creature just stays there, still flapping the wings, not even paying attention to the rest of the crowd below in hushed silence. I'm going to cast Hex on Jester, and I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, use Relentless Hex and teleport 30, 30 feet to where she is. Mm. Okay. All right. So, casting it, <coughs> the the shadows around where the where the moonlight is hitting her, the, the dark shadows behind her body sh wrap around and create this kind of strange harness of dark shadow energy that sh kind of swirls and wraps around her torso um, as it's kind of like cascading up, almost licking the back of the traveler's legs like surf against the edge of a shoreline. As you rush up, she is about thirty-five or so feet off the ground. So you run and you leap, kind of. Where if this doesn't work, you might be heading towards the lava below, and then and appear right up towards her. I just grab onto the back of her shoulders. I know I'm not strong enough to pull you off. You have to let him go. No, 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 no. Jester, we knew this might happen. No. He's played in things that are larger than him. You cannot go with him. Lord, he's my best friend. I know, but we are here for all of you. You need to let go. We will catch you. You look up and his eyes are wide and it's I'm gonna I know I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you free, okay? <laughs> the creature is kind of still kind of looking forward, kind of uh, as he just begins to slowly pull up closer and closer. It it reads no emotion on its face, just presence. How do we make it right? How do we fix it? How do we make her let him go? You shout this towards the Yeah, kid. yeah, yeah. And the head turns towards you. Why do you cry for this one? Because he's, he's my friend. This is a selfish creature. He's been very, very giving. And he really likes his freedom. Freedom, you say? 
and the creature looks down upon all these entities. The freedom to manipulate, the freedom to guide, to twist and shape the perspectives of those who do not know better, to take the form of my God and speak falsely of her name. When you say it like that, why do you cry for this selfish creature? Because I love him. I do. See, like the brow furrows in disdain as it looks over towards Artagan. Who's still like just kind <laughs> of like nudging the heads. And what is this? A mistake. There are very few times in history that those of pious gift carry themselves to the edge of a fiery death. You tell me this was not the intent of this creature. He just wanted to have some fun. It got out of hand. And who are you? Jester. That's all. Are you willing to carry this penance as well? For to hold on to these chains is to accept them. Do you love him this much? I look at art again. <laughs> I look back at Ford. Our second kind of like closes his eyes, takes a deep breath through the nose. Make a strength check for me. Fourteen. Not pain, but force strikes you in the chest. <laughs> As Artagan has kicked both you and Ford off of him. As you fall back, losing your grip on him, you see in his eyes a resignation, but a smile under the chains. You're both falling. I cast Feather Fall on both of them. They hadn't made it beyond 30, 40, 50, 60 feet? Or? At this point, they're about 60 feet up, so. Okay, so as soon as they are right at the cusp, I will cast it on the two of them. Okay. You begin to glide back down. Towards the lava or towards the. Uh, it's precarious. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I grab Yasha's hand. Basket catch. We just make a little basket, cheerleading style. <laughs> as you guys are brought down, you can see now the chains as they begin to pull him up towards the moonlight.
the silhouette against the moon showing that wild mane of hair. The shadow, now where the face looks towards you, shoulders slumped as the vibrant, radiant chains that wrap around him give off their own intense glow. His legs and feet just kind of dangling as the cloak itself kind of flows with the breeze. And you swear you see a tear. And the chains come to a halt. And the celestial creature looks over towards our tag and, <laughs> and flies over, looming over his form. Have you learned your lesson? The voice now deeper and richer though still feminine, but even for a creature this awe-striking, it is not their own. They are but a mouthpiece for this new voice. Tagen kind of looks up for a second. Good. Be careful with whose realms you prod and poke. You're not beyond reproach. Archfey, and the chains release and draw back up towards the moon. Artagon just goes into a free fall. I will I'll cast feather fall on on Artagon. <laughs> As Artagon kind of like. For the first time, you've ever seen him truly shaken and speechless for the experiences that you've had and for the lifetime that you've spent off and on with his presence. Just dumbfounded and silent as he glides back down to the edge of Rumble Cusp. As this celestial entity flies over the group of nearly 200 followers, that voice comes through once more. There are many who seek to bend your trust. Some for good, some for gain, and some just because they can. Be careful who you put your faith in, for not all have your best interests at heart. But if you do indeed seek guidance, and know that through the shadow and light of the night, there is one that can watch and keep you, I carry no lies for those that show me love. begins to fly up back towards the moon. And as you see the silhouette of this flying celestial creature begin to just faintly blur against the very intense bright white light of Katha. The moon fades and is gone. And there, in that break in the clouds, you just see the twinkling of stars against the night, the night sky. Artagon, his feet touch the edge of the volcano and the crowd is hushed. He looks over towards the crowd, he looks towards you. And that is why you worship the Moonweaver. <laughs> because, if I'm going to be frank, I can't do that. <laughs> Good night, everybody. And he just walks away. <laughs> Everybody's just kind of like looking up. <clears throat> Woo! What 
enjoy the show. That was really a good show. Traveler Con is dope. Wow. There's some murmuring through the crowd now, and some people just kind of look a bit shell shocked. Some people look a bit ticked off. Some people are like, "Well, back to drinking." And slowly, the crowd begins to kind of make its way back down the path of the mountain. Some subtle arguments kind of break out in the crowd. Some people get kind of unruly, but then others kind of tamp it down. It's an odd mixture of energy. And fire stave lit for the night, and every now and then you stare, you can I swear you can still hear a little bit of music finding its way up here through the wind. So at least there's still some semblance of celebration still going on down there. Not all is lost in that regard. Um, as you guys are getting uh, towards the bottom of the run that you brought up, uh, you see a figure approaching. And as you kind of glance over and look in a defensive way, you see a familiar green cloak kind of thrown over one shoulder. And beneath that, you can see this kind of beautiful, deep green, like billowing silk sleeves that come to these little cuffs at the end, and these uh, long, thin legs and beautifully tailored, very kind of elvish looking attire, and the familiar orange hair of Artagon as he steps forward. Do you mind if I have a drink? You have to speak to the High Priestess. High Priestess, do you mind if I have a drink? Sit down. There's a split second where his hand presses against the dome and doesn't go through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. And then it goes in. Yeah. <laughs> it curls up in like a, like a friend who comes in the middle of the night to your tent and you're camping. <laughs> it's like, oh. May I? Of course. Da one punch. <laughs> one punch. <laughs> It feel good. You'll like it. It'll release all the. You know what? Sure, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> I am rolling tag. Or he. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Terribly <laughs> for me. Fifteen. It's the rum. Fifteen. Cool. He's letting you do it. So let's, let's, it was a one. <laughs> it was more like to see if it would be a one. It was. A sl- it was more of sla- a slapsies. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like. Oh, slapsies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Penance paid. Give me that drink. <laughs> I get the drink. <laughs> Well, that was certainly embarrassing. Could have gone worse? It could have gone worse. I'm... You know that I think back, there's probably a number of reasons why I didn't interact with the Moonweaver too often. <laughs> uh, She's hardcore. We have some, some crossover, but apparently has a bit of an image issue, as far as, you know, an issue with other people taking her image. Um, but I give her credit. I now know where those boundaries lie. Mm-hmm. If she's listening. No more fake religion. Right, right. No, no, no. That was. You know, we've all had hobbies we tried for a bit and went, this isn't for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Knitting. Yeah, so Terrible at it. Um, in, yeah. in the end, perhaps you achieved what you were after, after all. You know, I think it was time someone took me down a peg. I'm glad you're not trapped in another realm. Me too. Um, going home would have been terrible. Uh, wow. And it's very odd to see this entity, this this powerful <laughs> archfey, this creature that the mystique has surrounded the entirety of your relationship with Jester for the length that you've known her. You've seen this being do incredible things, and right now is just a guy. Yeah, no, it's awkward as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask the question, what next for you? Well, thankfully none of this, and he points out towards the village. This is done. I guess whatever, whatever interests me, whatever interests come my way, come your way, I don't know. I'm not going to lie, all of that was very, <sighs> Not enjoyable, but 
a great weight has been lifted from these shoulders. I'm excited to see what the new day brings. While I'm here, I'm also, by the way, down there and just speaking the grandiose praises of the Moonweaver. Are you really? Oh, yes. Oh, I, I've, I figure if we're going to do this, we need to finish it properly, so. Can you, wait, so you can actually make yourself be in two places at once? Well, I can make an image of myself in two places at once. That can talk? Can't you? No. I can't talk as my double image, but maybe you can teach me. Maybe in time. In time? She just saved you from a fucking god! <laughs> Give it to her now! Just to be walk with me for a moment. Yeah. Hey. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Just if anything happens. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> as comparably diminished as my abilities may be here, as opposed to my home plane, that does not leave me incapable of. No, no, I, I, I believe you. Yeah, ex believe you. yeah, the, exactly. Thank you for the rum. Uh -huh. And he takes it with him as he walks out the dome. Yep, yep. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> you walk with him? Mm-hmm. He just walks a bit, kind of doing this sauntering stroll with the sloshing of the jug in one hand, and he kind of takes a sip from it and just passes it over to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was a lot. Yes, it was. <laughs> Are we being watched? I think the moon is back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but genuinely, I am. I'm a creature of impulse. And, uh,. I know uh, many of my good traits maybe have rubbed off on you through the years, but I'm certain a number of my not so savory ones may have done the same. And for that, I'm sorry. But tonight, this just because one has power doesn't mean they say all. And I was so excited at the prospect of being free from these binds I'd unknowingly shackled upon myself over the years that I definitely leapt before I looked. The last thing I want to do is put you in harm's way, or any of your friends. I couldn't let you make that sacrifice. If I was to be taken, that's my path to walk. You've already stuck your neck out far too much for me. I hug him. <laughs> Ugh, motions. I know, it's annoying. It really is. It's insufferable. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> but no, look. <laughs> I know I'm frustrating. And that's not going to change, by any means. But I really do appreciate you. Yeah. Don't worry. Doesn't have to be so serious all the time. Thank God. I was just reading the room, I assumed it was one of those serious discussion things. <sighs> yeah, I'm glad you're not gone. Me too. I would have been terrified. We've learned our lessons. Yeah. No, I, she's a cheeky bit. Cheeky bitch. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know what this means for everything, but we can figure it out. You know what's exciting? Hmm. Not knowing what's next. Yeah. It's kind of cool, isn't it? I don't put much forethought into my plans. And right now, in this moment, I think I am the least prepared for what's next than I've been in a long time. I'm gonna trip him. 
<laughs> Go ahead and make an acrobatics check for me. <laughs> oh, nine. Nine! Nine! nine. <laughs> You go to trip him, and it connects with his shin, and he stops. Uh... Uh... <laughs> a little prepared, then. Maybe a little, but not by much. <laughs> <sighs> so let me take you from their friends. I should probably talk to them too, shouldn't I? Yeah, they don't like you. No, I gathered that. The energy isn't difficult to read, I mean. Yeah. I just think that they, they think that you are maybe a little manipulative and that you don't have our best interests at heart <laughs> and that you've taken advantage of me. Um, you know, so some of it's based in truth, but they don't know you like I do. <laughs> oh, they're not entirely wrong. Uh, look. <laughs> so toxic. <laughs> hmm. No, they're right. I mean, I'm not trying to defend myself here. No, my, no. my very essence is manipulation. And I love that about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess I should. I guess I need to just think a little bit more about those I do manipulate. Yes. Also, you need to tell me how to do that spell where I can make myself appear somewhere else and like really far away and be talking, because that is really cool. Because right now what I can do is like limited to a certain amount of space, but it would be awesome if I could like also make myself like be in the bubble right now talking to them and I could go in and be like, oh my gosh, you guys, me and the Traveler just broke up. There are limitations as to what I can imbue within you to an extent, mm, yeah, but an upgrade perhaps isn't too bad. How about this? And he begins to whisper into your ear, and as he does, you begin to kind of feel your consciousness expand a bit as your illusory duplicate emerges next to you, and the for the foreseeable future, uh, your duplicate can now travel twice the distance, and you can speak through your duplicate. Oh. Holy shit. You can't speak independently. You can't, like, it's not like that a program delusion. You can't, you know, have two conversations at once, Perfect but you do have to be able to see it. Pretty dope. Okay. This is awesome. Coming well, from my duplicate. It's just the beginning. <laughs> oh, Ababa. I'm going to make my duplicate go into the bubble. Okay, it skips back to the bubble. Well, you guys, the traveler's gone forever. As I go in the bubble. How did it go? Gone forever? Am I, am I still having my, uh, is my, <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> How long does it last? An hour. Oh, we've been drinking a while. You guys have been drinking. You know what? Roll a d20 for me. Done. On, a, on, on an 11 plus, it's still going. No, nah, it's over. Oh. Okay, sorry. Jester, you're back! <laughs> yeah, I'm back. It's me, Jester. I'm back. Whew, what a talk I had with the traveler, you guys. He felt so bad, but then he left. He left forever. Yeah, but I just stand there in the middle of the bubble, like, <laughs> yeah, dancing is, as a I will say, Jester, go ahead and make a stealth check for me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because you're talking. <laughs> because yeah. you can speak through your duplicate, you can't hear through it. Oh no. So you have to be close enough to hear the conversation to have one. Right, right, right. 12. <laughs> As I lean closer so, to the so, so, like, you know, it's happening. So for everybody but Veth. <laughs> As Jester arrives, you can see other Jester like just crouching behind a rock, but like excitedly <laughs> leaning inward. <laughs> yep, this seems like Jester to me. I love her. She's the cutest. You seem very broken up about it. <laughs> Inconsolable, yep. even. Oh, can't you see I'm crying? And my duplicate starts crying. Oh, no. The Moonweaver changed her mind, come back, was like, ah, oh, fuck you. I changed my mind. Right as Bo says that, the real me jumps out from behind the rock and runs into the bubble. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Yeah. Oh my God! The meaning of this. Did you totally fool you guys? Did you totally fool? Yes. Yeah. Oh, genuinely fooled. To yes. use. 
Yeah. With my own voice, you guys. Double prizes. That is pretty really crazy. Yeah. yeah. You hear a. Yeah. You hear a boom. So traveler's hands on the dome again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait, wait. Lock it again. Just do that thing like you do in the car. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. If you can get talk <laughs> <halfway in. laughs> yeah. Anyway, he wants to talk to you guys. So he didn't go away forever. No, he's still totally here. Funny joke. <laughs> this is quite a good one. Here's the rest of you. He gives you like like the slosh at the bottom of the Ugh. of the jug. Uh, that's backwash. I'm good. No, waste not one. I suppose I should apologize. I've seemingly rubbed a few of you the wrong way over time, and. You have every right to be frustrated. Just know, for as much as you care to believe me, I do not want any harm to come to any of you, especially Jester. If anything, to be perfectly frank, and it hates to be frank with anyone, um, I took some comfort in not having to keep as close an eye on her in recent times, because I knew you were all with her. Couldn't say the same for um, some of the other riffraff as he gestures out towards the village. Watching her grow up has been interesting. No, it's been. It's been incredible. Mortal lives are so short and yet filled with so much. Purpose and drive, and with the right direction, so much chaos. And yet, for someone who's been alive as long as I have, I've learned so much just being in her presence. I guess what I'm trying to say is, she means a lot to me as well. And if you all mean a lot to her, then in some way, I guess you all mean something to me. <sighs> Remember, it is me behind every healing spell. <laughs> so I am helping. That was very nice of you. That was very honest and real and... Everyone can be best friends now, together? <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't need you. Oh, I know she doesn't need me. She doesn't need us either. She doesn't need anyone. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I no, do. I need you're you. Fine. I'd be very lonely. Sure, but you would, you would make it. Did you apologize to her? Did I apologize to you? Yes. Yes. Adequately enough. Yeah. Yeah. And you. Yeah. And you promise you'll never make another cult again? Oh, dear gods, no, never. That, uh, uh, that I believe. In the words <laughs> of the great Serenin, <laughs> I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I you do. know, I just want to point it out, with the costumes and the curtain mm. and really the stage lighting, we put on quite a performance. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm greatly in That was some of the best theater I've ever seen. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> that, those were performing arts. You might have to call thing. equity and see if no. this means. No, there was no narrative. Guidelines. There was an audience. There, was, there, there was were not art. acts one, two, and three. There were actually. Yeah, yeah, sizable yeah. house. This there is was enough people in the village to make at least four. And he leaves the dough. Uh, Lord Theater, yes, yeah. 99 seat. <clears throat> mm. He's gone. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? Know where it is or close it? I'm so out of my depth. I think know where it is is good. I do too. This is the Hail Mary, the one -er? Yeah, that's, that's we'll vote. see if it works. I'm worried it gets buried. They have all the time in the world to dig it out and we mm. still have no clue where it is. If we know where it is, we can lay a trap. This is why I surround myself with smart people. Uh, oh boy. All right. I would love gods above. Please help us. 
God standing right next to me. Can you Please show us? Uh, help us. Do you want to go first or should <gasps> I? <laughs> sure. Hey, Artie. Don't do that. Are you here? Art. All right. I got a. I got a question for you. <laughs> Ninety-eight. <laughs> I think that is above <clears throat> my level. Just a little bit. You hear a voice? I, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. What's going on? Oh, nothing. How's your day going? Splendid, actually. Been spending a bit of it quiet out in the south side of Port de Mali, having a Mai Tai. It's delightful. Oh, oh fuck you. Man. Hey, that sounds so good. Teleport <laughs> in here real super easy? You kind of don't hear anything, and you glance to your left, and you see Artagan sitting there. Right next to you, holding this like awesome glass kind of tropical drink. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Give me a sip. <laughs> no, just kidding. I don't care about that. No, yeah, you do. Um, how did you get here super easy? <laughs> because I can. No, but if you can teleport in, it's you know it's like super hard to do here. Is it? <laughs> can you teleport all of us in later if we teleport out? I don't... I... can you? <laughs> <laughs> He's still holding it out. He's like, I thought you wanted to sip. I would, uh, Here. I don't even like alcohol. Then don't drink it! He takes it back before you get a sip out. I'm just saying, if you can teleport in, then why, why can't you just teleport us all in later? It's not that I'm teleporting. I'm just here. Well... Uh, I don't understand. Yeah, well, that's all right. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a little intense to uh, really grasp the concept of such fey powers. <laughs> I don't use magic to transport. You don't? No, I'm just here now. It's just fabulous. You're the magic ones, silly mortals. Your hair looks good given the humidity. No, thank you. Oh, the moisture does nothing to me. <laughs> Spend enough of your life around odd swimming waterfalls, it just keeps it quaffed regardless. Have you ever straightened it out? How long is it? I don't know. <gasps> oh, you should do it. Try it right now. Oh, but I like the volume. <laughs> it can go right back, can it? I'm curious. This is the best film divine intervention ever. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. 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 he's just hanging around, you're like, whoa! He snaps his fingers and the hair just goes, Woof, and falls into this long, straight street that goes down to his ankles. He goes, whoa! All right, Axel Rose. That is impressive. <laughs> it looks terrible. Yeah. He snaps it again. <laughs> it falls back up and goes, Oh, well, it's worth a shot. Now we know, don't we? Anyway, sorry, I was in mid conversation with someone. Uh, oh. Do let me know if you need anything. Yeah. It's chilly around here. Stay warm, friends. <laughs> and he's gone. Oh, oh, I can. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. I. I was watching you, uh, talk to your, your friend. Artie? Yeah. Could you see Artie? I could see Sprinkle. Whispering in your ear. Sprinkle? And Sprinkle's been dead for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that you have been keeping to yourself, or...? Wait, what? Yeah, once when I was uh, a monkey, and, and then later, you talked to him again, and when you were talking to him, talking to Sprinkle was Sprinkle? chittering in your ear. <gasps> you see, like, Sprinkle slowly emerge from around her neck and kind of look up with the eyes, and they, they, they kind of <laughs> glance over of the weasel and go, well, how else was I supposed to stay with you and keep tabs on? <laughs> Hey, oh my gosh, and you've just been here the whole time? I told you I'd be keeping an eye. I love you so much, Artie. Should I call you Sprinkle? Should they call you Spra Sprarty? <laughs> we'll stick with Sprinkle Artie. Sprinkle is the traveler? Of course he is. That makes perfect sense. It's the Wait. only reason he's still alive. <laughs> You're not entirely wrong, and it's been a journey. Wait a second. It kind of shakes off a bit. <laughs> did you know this? <laughs> no. How did you know? I I wasn't sure if I thought maybe I was imagining it the first. I was a 
giant chimp, but then I saw it again. And then I started to... But I wasn't sure. Uh, you! Is there anything weird that I have that I should have noticed? <laughs> Am I Did missing you know? anything? No! no. <laughs> you weren't you weren't in close proximity during the... I, didn't see I think we joked about that one night. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weasel, shit. What? Oh my god, it makes perfect sense. And yeah, have you know. always been? Have you always been sprinkled? Did you take over sprinkled? Did sprinkle die and you like absorbed? No. Right? You've always been sprinkled? Well, let's just say <laughs> the gentleman who sold me was surprised to see he had a crimson weasel, but wasn't again selling it to the first person he came across, which oh I god, counted on. Oh my god, I even put a little blue bow, a little green bow on you, it makes perfect sense. He killed the real sprinkle, just saying. Well then, shh. <laughs> Wait, that was never a real sprinkle. It was it always the traveler. Professor Thaddeus, he actually just was a dick. Did he's, you know he's him? He's just an asshole. Out <laughs> well, what the fuck? Spend a little time with him. <laughs> kind of a dick. I'm just. That was cool. You dodged an arrow on that one. What other gods are animals? All of them. <gasps> I'm so happy. Do you still want to write on my shoulder? Are you happy where you are? I mean. It's pretty comfortable. Okay. Nice. Hang out. Didn't I bathe you one time? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, you it's scratched freaky. me though. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jester. In the time that you are getting ready in the morning to leave on your ship and making your path. Damn it, I was hoping to avoid it. Path my way. Hate you all. Um, through the streets as you head towards the dock and you can see the, the flags and sails of the nine heroes blasting in the wind, the bright daylight, and the somewhat cloudless horizon before you, the ocean waves crashing on the rocks below. You can't help but smile. And you feel a tug at your arm from the nearby alley. You glance over, and you see there, also billowing in the wind, the green cloak. The hood half pulled back as the large orange mane of our tag and the traveler holds your arm. It goes, It's certainly been a very interesting journey, hasn't it? It has. We saw a lot of shit. <laughs> no joke. It's so strange. Classically, mortal life is so brief and dull and spoken of from the perspective of my Folk for ages is toys. <sighs> Why are you so different? It makes no sense, really. It's frustrating. I just wanted to say, I'm... I'm sorry I couldn't be the god you wanted me to be. I never wanted you to be a god. You wanted me to be a savior. I wanted you to be my friend, and you were. Yes, yes, I was. Oh. I also wanted you to teach me how to do really cool shit, and do cool shit, and give me cool shit, and, and I gave you cool shit. Yes, did I? You, you really did. Right, okay. You really no, do. I, no, I did all right. You I'm really do. Wait, no, why no, are we, really wait a minute, on. wait a minute, stop, stop. Why are you talking about it like it's in past tense? We're getting ready to get on this boat. Yes. What are you doing? Nothing. I consider you a close friend, and we haven't spoken in a bit. Things have been crazy. I, I... I 
I'm feeling that wanderlust again. Yeah? It's hard to explain, but it's not boredom, it's just... You know when you eat the same meal over and over again? Yeah. Eventually you're just like, I just want anything but this. Yeah, it's, it's, not that it's so a... good, but at the same time you're like, oh, I'm it's so a, sick of this flavor. It's a delicious meal, but yeah. eventually you just want to change it up a bit. Am I the meal? No. Um. Not, that, that analogy was extremely offensive, I apologize. <laughs> um, no, I just, I don't know. Uh, our experience on Rumble Cusp kind of shook something in me, and I, uh, I'm just considering what other unique ventures out there could use the attention of someone like me. That doesn't mean I'm going anywhere. Okay. I mean, and he kind of lifts his finger a bit, and you hear the on your shoulder. Sprinkle isn't going anywhere. Trust me, you can certainly try. He'll be there the next day. Got <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always be around and eager for an adventure or two with you, or the chance to uh, deface sacred places together. You still haven't shown me the Pharaoh. That's true. I want to go there so bad. Well, I will say it. It's very hard to come back after that. So at least come to me when you're supremely bored of this place, and then I'll show it to you, because then you come back and go, oh, look, yes, it's as I remember. Okay, okay. But, um, I also want you to know, it feels good to be looked up to from you. I've selfishly enjoyed you calling my names in times of challenge or sadness. The dependency was, well, Filling, to a degree. It's, uh, it's also unfair to you. You don't need me. You never did. Kind of did. No, you've proven that. You know how strong you are. I'd better give you a push here and there. <laughs> Lent you some of my power, but all the rest is you. Your friends are your strength. Your captain is your strength. I'm just here to kick along and support when I can on occasion, but I just might not be around as much. You know, it's so weird, Artie. Like, like it makes me really sad to think about. But it also feels kind of good. Does that make sense? No, but few things do. <laughs> and I like it that way. Yeah. What do you want? Just a little more. I still want adventure. I want to see everything. Good. Stop with that boat. I know this has been a unique closure to a few crazy recent endeavors, but I don't know. It's also kind of a beginning. I'm going to give be. you a hug. Goes in and takes the hug. I go to give him a kiss. Gives and you. I bite him on the nose. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> I'll be keeping an eye. Okay. For our next venture, uh, who knows? There is still so much of Alexandria to fuck with. <laughs> go, go. Okay. It's probably waiting for you. <laughs> Let me take off running. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>